Oh, hello. Welcome to the Potato Endless Academy, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today, we have more back on the menu, boys and girls. We have more. All right, all right, all right. Sapphire, thank you for telling everybody that the stream has started. Now I gotta send them notification here. And uh, let's wait for the fellows to get here. Oh, hello, Buscara. Buscara, Buscara, how you doing? Welcome. How was your day, mate? Oh, professional streamer, by the way, here. Didn't you know that? I forget to put my phone on silent. <laughs> oh, man, I have plans. I have very much plans for today. Let me post some potatoes uh, Discord, too. I'm fine too, man. It was just a normal, normal day, normal day, but it is about to get interesting because we are back in the gaming field and especially, specifically, potato. <laughs> One second, let me put it there. And now the potato discord knows that the episode three is on too. Episode three is on too. Okay, just a couple of minutes for everybody to get here, so people can actually see the bills from the start. And ladies and gentlemen, Drandian has come it with plans for the day. Today we're gonna actually do some rocky. I check back it when you start. All right, mate. Uh, it's gonna start in like two minutes. Yeah, two minutes max. Let me introduce you to my party, ladies and gentlemen. I want to see who I want to play. One second, let me actually reduce this. There we go, let me royalty! Okay, let's see who we have. Uh, we tried mage last time, but meh. We didn't get any items, sadly. Uh, who shall we go today? Today, today, today. Oh, I know. I know. I know. We gotta scale him to Oblivion. To Oblivion himself. Ooh, that guy deserves a better record. Yeah. He has potential. He has a lot of potential. And you don't know who I'm talking about? Good. Makes up for the more anticipation, and anticipation brings chaos. And chaos is good. Oh, hi there. Hey, hey, hey. Sierra Hime, how you doing? How you doing? Dear Sierra, how have you been? Where have you been? I don't see you on the Stardew Valley streams anymore. Have you been naughty? Are you doing naughty, naughty stuff? <laughs> okay, one more minute, guys. One more minute, then we start. Let me tease Sierra a little bit till others get here. <laughs> I'm joking. I like you. You're dear. Every one of you is dear to me. So I have to mess with you. I mess with the people I like, okay? I only mess with people I like. Ooh. Shaky green screen, shaky green screen, Randy, I'm gonna solve it, and he opens another space here. I have to move. By the way, thank crazy for the great music. Oh man, what would have I done without this music? And none of it is copyrighted. It is a blessing, ladies and gentlemen. It is a blessing. To have music that doesn't get you money. The, do the single dollar you earn from doing YouTube is taken away from you by the demonetization monster. On a repeated basis. No more. <laughs> YouTube, please don't take away. I have improved my monetization. Now I'm earning a dollar instead of 40 cents. 
So please keep giving it to me. <laughs> I'm gonna make $30 this month. Hell yeah. <laughs> Professional streamer, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's begin. Let's begin. The time has come, so have I. And let me reduce this. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're gonna be starting with Generalist because his record is garbage. I wanted to complete the mage, but last time we played mage, I don't want to play mage this time. But uh, he's the only one, like below. Yeah, below 30. He's the only one. Aside from mage. Uh, mage is gonna be tried later. Let's do a generalist. He His best record right now is 30, but Drandian is gonna do something very interesting with him. We wanna go past basically uh, plus 30 with him. So what we're gonna do for him is we're gonna be playing him with ethereal weapons. And, and we are Actually, actually, let me let me think this over. There are two possible builds for this character right now. I can either go Ethereals, and the Ethereals will destroy everything, but the economy will be a problem. Or I can go Precise Weapons, and then the damage will be done, and I will have damage focus, but then I will lose damage percentage and economy. Hmm. Yeah, let's p let's play materials. Why not? Why not? Okay, I found my weapon. I am a happy man. I'm a happy potato. We're gonna be playing generalist, ladies and gentlemen, plus two melee damage for every range damage you have, plus one range damage for every two melee damage you have. You can only equip three melee weapons and three ranged weapons. And we go, Ethereal Weapons, Danger 5, Endless. Welcome to the Endless Academy. Let's ruin this. Alright, our first priority, uh, you have around like 10 attacks. Uh, on your first wave, so you have to actually make them line up for you like this, so you get the maximum kills with your weapon. So you get that one extra percent of damage that I just got. Nice, nice. Can I get another one? And yes, nice, 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 nice. 59, nice. I earned one extra coin. And when I hear good news, I don't need to look for damage. Because, see this range damage? I'm just gonna buy it. And he's gonna get melee damage too. But we need harvesting because this guy's economy really sucks. Especially, especially early in the game. Oh, five harvesting, that's it. <gasps> okay, this is going to be a good run. This is going to be a good run, ladies and gentlemen, a good one. Oh boy, sharp bullet on wave one first item. Oh boy, oh boy, I am going to ruin some lives today. Ooh, 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 ooh. And I already got my first level 2, so that's another thing. And uh, on wave 1 and 2, as I always say, you have 100% chance of getting two weapons every time you roll in your shop. So try to roll as much as possible, but do not waste all of your coins, because then on wave 2, you will not be able to buy all the weapons that you want. But here's the fact that I have 5 harvesting now, and I will be able to. Okay, give me another point in harvesting, please. Okay, there you go. And, oh my god. Okay, this is gonna be a good run. This is gonna be a good run. Okay, let's go. Level twos. Damn, nice. Fantastic, actually. Okay, 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 okay. And uh, now, we have damage, because we have weapons, and three weapons is all I want. Now, I will just keep rolling and rolling and rolling down the hill, until I bring hell-blazing damage and ghost scepters in. And with that short bullet in my hand, I will improve my HP so much that we might be able to change to explosive weapons later. I want none of these. That melee damage, I take. That 10 luck, I take. Oh, ho, 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 The perfect item for this bit, this character. 
The perfect item for this character. Coffee for 10% attack speed, 2% less damage. Sharp bullet for less damage, but one more pierce. Four for reroll. And I get my first scepter. I am a happy man. Durandian is a happy potato. Durandian just got super weapons. I am weaponized and I'm ready. Hello, JP. How are you doing, mate? Guys, you don't forget to like the video, please. YouTube algorithm goes pat pat, remember? And thank you. Ah, and unbreakable, but I am not unbreakable at all. I am very fragile right now because every time you add another ethereal weapon to your build, you're losing one point in armor. If you look at the class, at five weapons, you will get negative five armor. And that is something you should be looking out for, but Randian does not because if you don't want to die, just don't get hit, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't want to die, just don't get hit. That is all I can help you with. <laughs> Endless requires sacrifice, mentally and physically. <laughs> so prepare yourself and Uranus. <laughs> You're gonna be analyzed. <laughs> yes, I said analyzed, not analyzed. <laughs> okay, give me attack speed or armor. Well, you gave me armor, I take it. Uh, go Scepter, that's our first range damage, which will gonna start with one pierce. I'm gonna destroy everything. Then I'm gonna take a Hedgehog, which gives double the damage it writes here, because look, two melee damage, one range damage. Now I take this, six melee damage, three range damage, because why not? Then I'm gonna take a Steroid for HP, then I'm not gonna take that, though. One more. Oh, ho, ho, ho. A Danger Bunny. A Dangerous Bunny. A very Dangerous Bunny. Holy. Holy. I do feel powerful. Look at my items, man. Look at my items. Okay, now that Ghost Scepter will actually do damage, but the only reason it's not one-shotting is because of this negative 1% damage. You know, you want to know why? Because negative 1% damage literally reduces your damage by 1. Makes sense, right? <laughs> because Potato does not have decimal numbers. If you go positive, it doesn't give you the positive, but you if you go negative one, it will give you negative one. <laughs> because Brotato, goddammit, because Brotato hates you. Brotato will make your life harder, but will not help you make it easier. <laughs> Remember that. We are not just, in, just fighting against aliens, we are... This is a fight against the machine, ladies and gentlemen. The machine that Blobfish made. And we try to wreck every day. Oh, bag, sure. Oh, attack speed, lifesteal. Sure. That's 3%, I'm not gonna let it go. And the good thing about this character is, oh my god, my scepter is not doing enough damage? Well, that's melee damage, but I take it now, I get range damage. Wow, I have 14 damage. Nice. And danger bunny for free roll, free roll. Uh, we basically need... Go scepters at this point and that is okay, too. Oh my god Okay, and we combine those we take that we take bag and, and we roll one more and we get another scepter Happy 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 Durandian happy happy Durandian very much items Durandian Okay, okay now we both have damage and we have a little bit of survivability. And we just need some HP and movement speed. And he is gonna be golden. Golden indeed. 30 melee damage. Nice, nice, nice. You're doing okay, Mr. Generalist. I have now high hopes for you. Especially if you decide to not die right now. Oh, God. Okay, do not get cocky, Drandian. Do not get cocky, Drandian. Do not get cocky, Drandian, because if you do, they will bash your skull in. Literally, I forgot that I have negative 2% speed, so they're catching me. Holy. Okay, 9 HP, I'm taking that. I spy with my little eye a tentacle that says you are mine. And I am theirs. Tentacule. I'm not gonna go for spice sauces right now because I don't have the economy. 
Uh, butterfly, I want to buy one. I will need it. Uh, a tree, sure. Mm -hmm. nah, none of these. None of these. None of these. Okay, I'm going to get the bath. Bath is much, much cheaper than the butterfly. Like, see, because it takes away your harvesting, it's cheaper. We don't care about how uh, expensive or how cheap or these disadvantages. Early in the game, because this two harvesting affects you too much, they think that if they make this, you're not gonna buy this and buy this. But that is exactly why we're doing it. Because I'm gonna get so much luck. When I get my hunting trophy, that 20 coin that I'm ch exchanging here for that negative two harvesting will not matter anymore. So, this is a good decision. Let's go wave seven. I just need one more weapon that I am going to destroy even further. All right, all right, all right. Uh, you're not supposed to be playing these waves with only five weapons, but generally, sadly, cannot equip uh, more than three melee weapons and ranged weapons. So we have to just make do. Oh, okay, we have to just make do until his time comes up. And that is when I get my six weapons, because your weapons will definitely not matter what level they are. Because you're gonna have so much damage and attack speed because of the ghost weapons. That he's just gonna ruin everything. Okay, I need to kill him now. Yeah, you you need to die now. You're being annoying. You're being super annoying right now, mister. Okay. I'm gonna let you go because I have to kill others. Oh, not bad. And see that extra coin that came? That is 30 coins from the bag. That is fantastic. I don't want to reduce my damage, so I'm not gonna take a cute monkey right now. 5% crit, nice. Oh my god, what a fantastic shop. What a fantastic shop. Our last weapon, attack speed, lifesteal, HP. Oh my god, this is a fantastic shop. Oh my god, and luck and speed that will fix my speed. Okay, if I take... Yeah, if I take 7% uh, speed and have like 6-5% speed, we are killing that boss actually. Nice. So, now we have a balanced build, because we will get our last negative armor to negative 2. And if I get lucky with the skills, I will manage to actually fix my HP. I have 5% lifesteal, so I will have a little bit of lifesteal for the boss wave. So I won't, like, die. But, uh, because I have too much luck, I literally make all of my endless builds around mostly consumable healing. Because that's the easiest way to, like, get healing without distraction of lifesteal but this guy is a little bit different uh, because he really sucks sometimes uh, because you might not get the weapons that you need so i got him like five percent lifesteal in order to make him stable enough to just get through wave 11 because that early boss fight is something else i needed to be really careful about it okay here look Six melee damage, right? I am gonna take it. And I will have seven and fourteen. Holy. Holy. Nineteen damage on a level one. We got damage, ladies and gentlemen. We got the damage. Max HP, damage, armor, and speed. Uh, less range, but more damage. Okay, that's perfect. We have to buy every single hedgehog that we see. That is an item that you never let go because this literally gives you double the value it gives you four melee damage and two range damage for just 62 coins it is c'est magnifique mon ami c'est magnifique hello hello anton how you doing welcome to the stream guys welcome to the stream all right okay now we have to go on but let me see let me see yeah now we only have two armor problem and that's it. If I have my armor, I even have the HP because of the scepters. Okay, perfect, perfect. And here on wave 9, look. 22%, uh, 36%, 41 HP. Let's see how much we earn from this. It's, it might not be much, because uh, most of my weapons are not that impressively upgraded. But still, because I have the sharp bullet, I'm gonna get a hell ton of HP here. Yeah, a lot of HP will be gained here. Uh, I think I will get more HP than damage. Even though I have uh, a level 3 Ags. And level 3 Ags is just singular. So it will not be able to kill enough 
to get that many extra upgrades. But, 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 the fact that I have three scepters are level one and they're killing like a machine gun right now is going to fix everything for us. No, 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 no. And we got 360, almost 400 coin. Fantastic, fantastic. And now I'm gonna focus on kills and avoiding damage. Okay, 500 coins. Tyler, no. Okay, now this is a tease because I need that armor, but I love this luck. So I'm gonna take the luck and risk it. Give me armor. Oh my god, more luck. Sure. Sure, why not? Uh, more damage, lure for HP regeneration, no, but for the crates, because we can get something awesome, because we have 55 lock padding, we can't afford it, because we have 1% speed, none of those, and oh god, okay, I gotta reduce my damage, by the way, we got to 30% damage, and 43% attack speed, and 52 HP, metal detector for extra uh, lock, extra chance to get materials, and a little bit of engineering that we don't need, and tentacle and pumpkin. Arigato gozaimashita, game son. Arigato gozaimashita. Now, I have negative 55 on a level weapon dam- weapon, Level 1 weapon that does 23 damage. Holy, I am going to destroy him. And we get to upgrade the scepter. Ghost Flint, sorry. Ah, hello Lucas, how you doing? Welcome, welcome to the stream, man. How was your day? How was your fine week, actually, guys? Guys, by the way, did you know we made it to we made it to half the week already? Isn't that fantastic? The week just started yesterday, and now we are at the middle of it. Tomorrow, weekend is upon us. Weekend is upon us. I want to thank for still playing Brutito. I'm a player for 25 years, and Brutito is one of the best games I've ever played. Love how this game is about pure gameplay. Yeah, look, no story. Balance the stats, good character making, good graphics, stable economy, stable waves, replayability. It's perfect. And thanks you for watching. No, Brutuity is not 25 years old, JP. The genre is, however, the genre is... Uh, <laughs> I don't know, something funny? Uh... If you, if you guys didn't join the yesterday's Stardew Valley stream, I said that I changed my job and I won't, I'm now uh, working in a new office. Today, actually, one of my co-workers, uh, we were having a chat about gaming. He plays Brutato. <laughs> and I am terrified that he's gonna find out my channel. Because he said he's stuck on some characters and I couldn't give him tips. I was like, oh god, oh god, please, no, don't find out about me on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> but it's gonna be a good surprise or a bad surprise because that guy is gonna search the internet and Holy he, he's gonna see some things He's gonna see some things ladies and gentlemen, and I did not break the uh, uh, Taboo of telling him that I am a youtuber for potato. Oh, please don't die Okay, okay. I lost one of my crates, but it's fine. I couldn't catch him. Oh tree armor fantastic before the boss wave Oh, that is amazing. That is amazing. Okay. Uh, please, please, please give me more speed and damage. Oh! <gasps> and Weird Fruit. And Weird Fruit. Oh, holy. Holy Weird Fruit. Uh, I... Look, 50% attack speed is enough and I have a level 3. I'm gonna do this. Let's focus on getting this guy to legendary before this one. Okay, please give me a scepter or movement speed. <gasps> I just got a legendary flint. If I get a level two. No heal tower? No, it's unnecessary. Running Ethereal Weapons. Hello, anti Shafer. Yes, yes, yes. We are gonna be playing Generalist with Ethereal Weapons because I can. <laughs> and I did. You shall experience delight and disgust at the same time. <laughs> yup, yup. 
Gaizu, Gaizu, I need to be hyped because this is gonna be a little bit of a tough fight. I wanna kill the boss. I wanna kill the boss, so I'm gonna shut the hell up and keep fighting him. And uh, who shall be my hype guy today? Who wants to be my hype guy today? Let me see. Let me see. I am looking for a hype one. And uh, now. Nah, 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 nah. Okay. Found my favorite. I'm just gonna play my favorite. The year is 1991. Birds and people are living together in seemingly perfect harmony. Let's do this, ladies and gentlemen. Are Time to dance. Fire. This is Phoenix. We are not killing her. I saw that. I saw that coming. I saw that coming. I saw that coming. I saw that coming. I saw that coming and didn't move out of the way. Mm. Again. God damn, god damn. I need to I need to work on my movement speed. I need to work on my movement speed. I regret that run. Ah, that could have gone much better. Ah. Uh, by the way, let me tell you one thing. We cannot kill that boss. If you see that boss. If you see that boss and kill her, you're a sinner. You sinned against ethereal weapons. If you see that boss on an ethereal weapon and you kill her. And we get harvesting. I'm gonna save that this time. Okay, that's it. I... I deserve that, actually. I deserve that death. Okay, fertilizer. Yeah, I'm gonna get it. One melee damage is easily fixed. That that was, by the way, a fully functional Drandian fuck-up. That was a fully functional Drandian fuck-up. Uh, Kector was slow, but it was a movement fuck-up as well. Uh, I had to go around her closer, but I got greedy for that tree. Uh, so if I just went counterclockwise, I could have avoided that. But again, with that movement speed, it is kind of messed up to fight her. Doesn't matter how good you are at dodging. She just has that slash of four. Uh, but if I had just 5% more movement speed, that could have been avoided. That could have been avoided with a little bit less greed... And a little bit more items. But movement speed. Uh, even, even if I ignored that 3 armor item. And instead of that just got a 6% speed. That could have been not a death. So that was a mistake on my part actually. But again. Again, again, again. If you want a good endless run. You gotta bite the bullet and die a couple of times. Uh, okay, melee damage is good. That's gonna give us range damage. Okay, I'm getting better weapon builds. Okay, now this time actually I have most of my... Okay, I have actually all of my weapons this time on wave 3. Well, improvement. Improvement. Already a better run. This is already a better run. But I don't have the sharp bullet. So if I see the sharp bullet in the next shop, I'm going to flip the fuck out. <laughs> Please, game. Give me the sharp bullet so I can flip out. So, there are a couple of items that we are literally looking for, like hounds. Uh, it's hedgehogs, it is alloys, oh god, a crate, nice. And my economy will be much better than the last time, because last time I had only four weapons, and I get extra FPD. Okay, uh, I get the melee damage here, I get the 10% attack speed here. <laughs> oh, good lord. Good lord, what are you doing to me, Bratato? Uh, we're gonna lock the axe, we're gonna get the fertilizer, we are gonna roll... No, we're gonna upgrade the weapon, and roll. Okay, nothing special here. We are already in a better place, we are already in a better place. I find it uh, somewhat easy to fight bosses with good speed. Yeah, because you can literally just dodge them. Like, l l oh my god, we have a horde wave on 12. But again, uh, I always say this, wave 11 bosses, I, I don't know if it's... Uh, it it kind of makes sense like just one wave okay wave 11 and wave 12 bosses are so different from each other so different 
And especially when it comes to endless, you you really don't make a character for killing bosses, man. You're just making a character that kills some things for you while building up for that plus 20 wave. Like most of my endless characters, especially if I get to like focus farming, they are not even characters till wave 20. Oh, 10 luck, 10 luck. I don't want the armor. Oh, I get the armor. Nice. And we have to mix these and take that, attack movement speed. Oh, this melee damage, I'm actually gonna take it because it gives crit. Okay, let's go, wave five. But yeah, wave 11 boss is just awful, man. Especially for my runs, because I, I literally make glass cannons. I make glass cannons every time. And it is a matter of, okay, so if Durandian dodges, Durandian wins. If he can't, he's just gonna die miserably. And my dodging skill, no matter how much of a dodger you are, without the proper speed, even if you're the dodge god, you're gonna get hit, man. You're gonna get hit. Especially on endless. I'm not even talking about 11 anymore. Like, uh, if you don't have that 60% speed until wave 36, the chargers are just gonna run you over. And the invulnerability frame, the iframe, is so low that they can literally tree shot you in less than half a second. I want the ugly tooth, but if I take it now, my build is gonna suck, so I have to pass it now. Uh, give me harvesting. Well, two armor is too good, I'm gonna take it this time. Uh, none of these harvesting, please. Oh my god, 10% attack speed, okay. Oh my god, weapon upgrade. Please give me sharp bullet. Oh, I take this too, like, it's good. I mean, it is good, I can't say no. And we're gonna mix these and take that. I'm not buying this so I can roll and maybe we find another weapon. Okay, I'm gonna buy it. We gotta buy it. Oh, good lord. L holy. Holy. What a fantastic start for that horde wave. What a fantastic start for a horde wave. I'm not gonna have a single level 1 weapon when I get to that horde wave. Not a single weapon. Oh, by the way, I think I'm too big for potato. Yeah, that is my that is my Stardew Valley size. Sorry, because you guys can literally not see this. But I have no place to go. See, I can't be here. I can't be nowhere. I can only be like at the corner with my items. But that is even worse because then I'm gonna be looking this way and playing that way. <laughs> oh God! Oh, fantastic shop by the way. And one of your priorities when you're bringing ethereal weapons is always upgrading your weapons. And if it is upgrades we look for, we got it, baby. We got it. That horde wave is gonna help us a lot because uh, I will repeat it again. Like uh, I said it the last times too. Uh, the perfect endless run starts with two horde waves back to back. But one is more than enough. Because honestly, like if you if you play with the stats that I give you or the builds that I give you, the horde waves are not gonna be the last thing you're gonna be needing to worry about. Because the bosses are gonna be your problem, not the horde waves. You're gonna have enough healing from your luck and consumables just to stay alive during the horde waves. But the boss waves are gonna be your problem. Uh, we're gonna get an absurd amount of HP, so we do not need HP. Uh, I'm gonna take... Let me roll. I have a feeling I'm gonna get a level 2. Ah, uh, not a level 2 of that. Oh, okay, I'm taking that HP. That is 9 HP. I can't let that go. And okay, now that we have that, we can do this and take that and then combine these and take that. And the tree is gonna be saved and roll. Oh, I'm taking that 20 luck. Holy. Holy. I am ready. Nice weapons. Yeah, dude. Nice weapons. Uh, you're right, there's difficult enough and with 11 there are aliens, boss there is a disaster. Yeah, like literally, literally the, the level 11 boss is one of the worst thing that can happen to you on your endless runs. Like, as I said, like if, if, if two horde waves back to back are the perfect endless run, the worst endless run is a level 11 boss. <laughs> Especially if you're playing ethereal weapons, because you cannot really, man, you cannot invest into that armor. Doesn't matter how much HP you have. If you don't have that 5-6 armor, the difference between the damage you take from the boss is immeasurable. It is immeasurable. 
how much damage they do to you. Like, they do around, like, 22, 26 damage to you without armor. And Ethereal weapons are just garbage at it. If you're playing first 20 waves, no problem. Get the armor because you don't need that, that much damage or stats or economy anyways. You're just gonna win anyways. Just because you're playing Ethereal weapons, there's no way you can actually lose. But we are playing Endless and that's the disaster. That is where the disaster begins. Oh, I'm gonna get the harvesting. Okay, I'm taking that speed. And we're taking that 20 luck with that 3. Now that 3 has this 30 luck backed up, so it will give us some crates. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Sadly, this is not a level 2 eggs. Oh, but happily, that is a level 1 ghost scepter. <laughs> Let's go, wait, wait. Uh, I need to stay closer to the mobs a little bit because uh, I need attack speed. Uh, that flint gotta get kills. My uh, my scepters will get all the kills now because my scepters are clearly overpowering every single weapon that I have. Clearly overpowering every single weapon. Okay. I need to pull my A game on because uh, we got really good weapons early on and I have the luck. I think, I think, I have a feeling I'm gonna be able to pull that hunting trophy on wave 10 or pre-wave 10. If I can take that, this can turn into a good run. This can turn into a good run. But well, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Drandian needs to focus a little bit because I lost a little bit of HP there and that is disastrous. There we go. Okay. Okay. A vigilante ring for free on wave 8. Say no more fam, just put it in my mouth. Okay, it would be fantastic. It would be perfect if I can get an armor here. But it would be better if I get an attack speed. I'm gonna get the armor. Risk it for the biscuit, 15 luck. And armor is there, nice. Fantastic, fantastic. Oh, piggy bank, okay. Okay, okay. No regrets, no regrets, no regrets. Are you excited about Protator DLC? Man, I am flipping out for the Protator DLC. Flipping out, literally flipping out. Because... Man, that... DLC is going to be such a fantastic add to Brotato. Guys, by the way, we're gonna get a hell ton of HP here. And I hope I get a lot of attack speed, because if you don't get the attack speed, that Horde Wave is going to destroy me, because I don't have Pierce. And my most powerful weapons are my ranged weapons. Which have no Pierce. <laughs> And uh, the worst part about ethereal weapons on this guy is literally having three ghost scepters because you can't just fix it. On other builds, I, I shift and just keep one ghost scepter, but on this guy, you literally are pushed into having three ghost scepters all the time. And that extra HP actually is bad for you at this stage of the game because you don't need the HP. If you're more offensive, it's gonna be more like better for you. Oh my god, I want that goblin so bad. Okay, there we go. Finally got him. Finally got him. Can I get another crate? Well, that's a no. But three crates. And let's tax with more damage. Why not? Charcoal. This gives me range damage too. I have low damage. Let's take it. Oh, attack speed. Fantastic. And uh, I'm gonna get this range damage. Yeah, I'm gonna get this range damage. That's gonna give me melee damage too. So now we are at 12. We do not... We need anything but HP. Anything but HP. Oh, more damage. Oh, more damage and attack speed. What a fantastic shop pre-Horde Wave. What a fantastic pre-Horde Wave shop. One roll. Coupon and lure. I'm gonna buy the lure next time. I wanna save. Uh, I don't really have the economy. Let's build some piggy banking. Man, we're gonna be doing co-op potato. We're gonna do more new builds potato, new items potato. It's gonna be a potato summer. This is gonna be the best summer after potato. 
Uh, but uh, let me tell you guys, uh, this summer is... Oh my god, okay, another crate. Please give me my hunting trophy so I can just flip the fuck out now. Uh, this summer is gonna be a great time to play indie games. Because almost every single game that, like... Uh, we see like over 10 indie games that are going to come out on the Triple I initiative uh, stream. Uh, I had to remove that stream because it had it was clearly hard to copyright it on YouTube. So uh, we, we just watched it with the guys and then I did, picked it up out of YouTube. But let me tell you this, out of every, let's say, five games that they put there, at least there was five gems. At least five of them were good games. Good games, and I mean good, not just good, good games. Oh, pick up range, okay. HP and melee damage, sure. Cog, damn it. Uh, I'm gonna get this armor, that horde wave can actually destroy me here. Oh my god, ghost weapon. Lore, please give me a level, a hunting trophy, a level 1 scepter, a level 2 scepter. Ugh. 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 Gaizu? 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 Should we go for a site? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna go for a site, I'm kidding. That, that's a disastrous weapon for us. Because literally, you know why? Because I don't have Pierce, and I have no healing. No consumable healing too. Like, just two consumable healing. This is literally my death. That is my death looking at me. I'm gonna roll once and then be done with the shop. An absolutely gorgeous shop. Uh, 100 coins, we save again a little bit. Can't wait to force my friends to play Brotato with me at TV Copia. Oh my god. That is gonna that is gonna be the dream. That is gonna be the dream. The gang and potatoes. Gang and potatoes. I'm excited for summer too, but now I'm excited to sleep so good. Aw oh, man, JP. Um uh, uh, good night, man. Good night. Have a good one. Uh, site? Yeah, it is too early because one of the things that you need for the site is either like very fast weapons with pierce so you can actually lifesteal the HP you're losing back or having the HP region to just back it up. And I have no lifesteal. If I got it like on wave 20, I would have taken it because then I'm, I'm gonna be invincible to the level 20 mobs. But we are very fragile against the mobs that we have, so just surviving, holding that site is gonna be a challenge on its own if I bought it. Yeah, he can- he will have a hard time even surviving holding that. Uh, not even getting hit is not the problem. Getting hit is the, my least of my worries if I take a site on him. Because he literally cannot lifesteal well. He literally cannot lifesteal well. His weapons are disastrous. Oh my god, oh my god, so many goblins, so many goblins, oh god, I need to kill both of them, I need both of them, okay, 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 that's my goblins, and four crates, fantastic, fantastic, that lock is coming in handy, ladies and gentlemen, that lock is coming in handy, ah, um, more range, sure, Panda for HP and luck. I'm taking it for the luck. I don't even care about the HP to be honest. Lumberjack shirt, sure. Less HP, more damage. Perfect, because that is an absurd amount of HP. Speed, I'm gonna take the melee damage. I am going to take... Range is good and crit will be good. Armor is good too. Yeah, let's get that five armor so I'm not... I don't need to worry about armor anymore. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is our first legendary, that is more crit, that is more damage, that is more armor, that's a free roll, and I get... <laughs> okay, guys, I'm gonna have some fun soon. <laughs> I'm gonna have some fun soon. 
a lot of us. A lot of us. Uh, we can't keep this, by the way. I just noticed. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. That is promising. That is now promising. That 20 melee damage will give me 10 range damage, too. Okay. Let's go. Wave 20. We are gonna destroy this wave. We have armor, we have HP, I have defenses, I have healing, I have everything to survive. So all I need to survive and just let that, uh, let that vigilante ring do its magic because that three percent damage might not not be something very impressive, but over time that thing is gonna give me over sixty percent damage if I just don't die. So even one vigilante ring can greatly improve your game, and I want that goblin's ass on my plate. That's it, thank you. And see, because just because I have that armor and 30% dodge, I can just dive these. Because I have the luck to produce fruits and just eat and uh, heal myself up. And if I get in trouble, I am just gonna go round and round like a merry-go-round. Okay, okay, I'm diving. I am diving. I am diving. Ah, 603, 95 HP, more healing. Thank you. Speed, no. I need range. Attack speed is fine. Crit is fine. Okay, coupon for item discounts. Mammoth. So, here's the thing, guys. 20 damage. We are doing 81. 81, 65, 131. I take that, Mammoth. We are doing 112, 79, and 160 damage now. I'm invincible. And uh, less life, still more XP. We take it. We don't even look at it. Because now that I have everything... I don't need to piggy bank. I can just keep rolling and rolling and rolling because buying items early is better than keeping that money. Less damage, more crit. Uh, I usually don't piggy bank on my uh, endless runs. Because no matter how much you piggy bank, that piggy bank is not going to give the value that you lose over time from buying items late. Uh, because if you're playing the first 20, the piggy bank is a fantastic item. But when you save money, like, it loses its value over time for you. Uh, because piggy bank is like, bah, 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 go, 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 go big. But I can't do that. This is endless. Endless needs items as soon as possible. Because you gotta kill. You gotta be offensive. You don't have defense. You don't have movement speed. You, you have nothing. You cannot be weak. You are already weak. Harvesting, piggy banking, these are the economy types that you have to actually suffer through in order to see your character develop better. Hunting trophy is the only offensive economy item. That is why hunting trophy is good. Because you don't you literally need to become more powerful to use the hunting trophy. But on oh god, sharp bullet. But uh, when you are buying uh, harvesting and piggy bank, you are making your character weaker. Even when you're buying the metal detector, you're making your character weaker. But when you get the hunting trophy, you actually get crit. Crit is literally most most of the time double damage on a chance base. It's fantastic. Sharp bullet, now I have a pierce. I'm gonna get too much HP, to be honest. Uh, I'm gonna get the crit. I don't need damage anymore. Oh, God. Oh, good God. Good Lord, have mercy. It is too early for the plasma hammer. It is too early for the plasma hammer. But this, I'm gonna take. Uh, that more damage to the bosses. Okay, that tractor could be good, actually. Yeah, it's wave 13. We can handle it. Okay, wave 14. Uh, isn't the life steal from sight enough to offset the HP loss? No. It never is, especially this early in the game. With this much attack speed, it isn't. Because even if I had 10% lifesteal, that wasn't going to be enough when I saw that sight because I did not have a sharp bullet. Sharp bullet now allows me to hit two targets with each of my weapon's shots. So that literally doubles my chance of healing. If I had a sharp bullet, I might have taken it with 5% or 10% lifesteal. But I had like 1% lifesteal and 0% HP regen and just 2 consumable healing on the time I saw the site. So no. This one should be much better. Yeah, this should be much better because we already have economy, we got good weapon upgrades, we got one of the items that we need. 
Even though I have not got the hunting trophy, we got this vigilante ring, so it makes up a little bit for the not the fact that we don't have it. And I already have 11 armor. And we get an anti-melee boss, but because I got that mammoth early, this guy, we are going to destroy this boss. Because now he's weak. He's just weak. Even if he's an anti-melee character, my top damage weapons are my ghost scepters right now. So we have no problem killing him. I didn't even need to dance on him. Like, I, I could have just tanked his damage. And now, because I have too much HP and too little attack speed and uh, damage, I'm going to try to, like, get closer to the mobs instead of moving away from them. So my melee weapons get more kills than my scepters. So I have to actually play inside the mobs as long as I could. And take risks on getting hit. Yeah, because uh, my, a my HP is just absurd right now. Yeah, 115 HP for this wave is just too much, man. It is just too much. Like, you don't need even half of it. And I got that goblin go. Uh, this gives me 10 range damage too, so I'm gonna take the gnome. Yeah, we just went under 31. Alien Eye is good, we take it. Okay, 12% dodge, that's fantastic. Consumbo healing more. Tractor for harvesting. Okay, pumpkin and silver bullet. Ah, oh, damn. One more. Okay, more crit, more XP. What's my XP gain? Okay, we need more. We need much more of that. Yeah. Easy boss died so fast. Yeah, man, like, it's because of this. This guy is an absolute beast. This guy is an absolute beast when it comes to damage. Like, you get one strong arm or one mammoth on a melee weapon and the boss is just gonna melt. Like, this is not even a powerful, let's say, uh, damage character. He, yeah, he gets that melee damage and range damage, but he literally has nothing more than that. Uh, the only characters that are good in Brutato are the characters that honestly have some kind of economy or scaling. Like, the melee damage, range damage scaling is just garbage because they are just expensive. And the value you get for him is literally much less than anything else. Like, how many times do you need to get melee damage and range damage just to make up for the fact that you're not using <laughs> a potato drawer? Like, it's impossible at some point. Uh, like, I hope, I hope they add something for, for example, sword play. Let's say sword play or gun training, let's say. For example, if you use a weapon for let's say several waves, you get more efficient in that weapon and that weapon gains damage over time. So your potato actually gains weapon XP, not just character XP. That could actually fix a lot of problems about potato. Okay, 30 range, 15% attack speed, uh, crit and dodge, more damage to the bosses, XP gain, 3, less armor, more harvesting, 5, 5, 5, 5 10, 56, 70, 80, it's gonna hardly pay for itself, so it's not worth buying. But I have no economy, so I'm gonna take it. Yeah, I have no economy whatsoever. Okay, that is really bad and good at the same time. That is so awful and bad at the same time. 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, it's gonna probably give me like 30 more coins. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get 200 coins back for just having this. But because we're going endless, it might actually help me a little bit more. So maybe 50, 70 extra coins from it over time. Let's go 16. But uh, again and again, I will tell this all the time. If you're playing endless, sometimes you just don't get items. Even if I get like five more, five more tractors, this run is not good. Because no hunting trophy. No hunting trophy, no game, basically. No hunting trophy, no game. But, never give up. Never give up. Rotato can surprise you with a single item at some point. And when you get that item, you're like, Oh god, good lord, please give me, put it here. <laughs> so I actually have to wait. And just hope. Fingers crossed, basically. Fingers crossed. And legs. And tongue. And heart, okay, heart, no. <laughs> don't, don't cross your heart. It's gonna kill you. <laughs> okay, four crates, fantastic. See? Hope never dies. Potato might. 
I might, but hope does not. Okay, please give me a hunting trophy. Uh, I'm gonna buy the padding, sadly. Crit. Pumpkin for extra pierce. Now I just need uh, three more pumpkins. Tractor. Okay, speed padding number two. Oh, well, shit. I just lost that 1555 because of lag. Do know if I do some problem before. Uh, are you playing PC or console? And hello, welcome to the stream. Which one are you playing, PC or console? Because it really depends. Uh, on, on console, you don't really lag. But on PC, uh, even if you have a good computer, at some point your game will start lagging. Unless you have like a super computer. Which, if you have... Well, good for you. But rotate in general, these games are not optimized to be broken, okay? Nobody makes a game so people can break it. And uh, that infinite run that we made, it breaks the game kinda. So it's pretty damn normal to get lags. Uh, but good ways of fixing the lag on Endless are... Don't take more than 30, 40 gardens. You don't need it. Don't buy turrets. Don't buy too many trees that also helps uh decrease the opacity and damage numbers like remove the damage numbers from the mobs that helps too ah uh, handcuffs no little frog little frog nope i have no economy and that's gonna give me 20 coins i'm just gonna sell it nine percent dodge now i am dodge capped okay that is much better by the way this is better than that mammoth because uh, it's cheaper, kinda. Uh, range damage attack speed, more economy, slower mobs, a lot of damage. 91 melee damage, Jesus Christ. Armor, I'm gonna actually buy that for the range. And we finally get a single weapon. Let's go. Uh, use turret, camping build, got me my first win and it's OP. Torrid camping? You mean engineering? With like tor wrenches? I play on my phone, there's too much enemy and bullet. The clock stopped ticking but enemies will appear and bullets are still flying. Yeah, that happens. The The phone, phone is definitely not optimized. Like this game took like 3-4 years to just come out of beta. So the phone version is gonna take a year at least to be kinda good. Do you think that Harvesting Decay post wave 20 is a good mechanic? No, it definitely isn't. It definitely isn't. You never have enough money for Endless. You never do. That is why nobody, no character can do good Endless. Because you, all of your economy just dies. Just, your economy just dies after Endless. Like, make it a stop. Make it like 5%, 2%. Don't kill it all. Like, zero harvesting. Okay, so... Uh, what what is what is the let's say uh logic behind it every wave your enemies are getting stronger your items are getting more expensive your character is becoming weaker and your harvesting is also dropping and you're even make becoming more weak like why why Make it a stop. Make it not give me more harvesting. Make it a maximum of, let's say, a thousand coins extra per wave. Like, you can only have 800 harvesting after wave 20. Make a cap for harvesting. Don't reduce it. That is a bad mechanic. That is just a bad mechanic. Like, every single character in the game is weak already. Like, you don't need to make harvesting go away. Uh, when clock ticking down from second five, it looks like 15 seconds are Oh god. Man, they need to optimize that phone game. <laughs> uh, yeah, I thought the PC is bad. Apparently the mobile is in worse condition. Holy. 10 seconds lag. Well, that would make a gamer rage. And rage is not good for a gamer. You do not want to see an angry potato, basically. You do not want to see a potato angry. 
Okay, uh, we have a little bit of damage, but this is still nowhere nearly enough damage. He's not scaling. He's not scaling well enough. And it's basically just economy again. It's basically just economy again. Uh, like, my only hopes are either getting more enemies in, or just getting lucky with a hunting trophy. Or else. Uh, we're gonna see maximum level 36 if this keeps going on. Like, if the shop is not more kind to me, this is gonna end at 36. Uh, medkit, god awful item. Ah, uh, well, that's more damage. I don't like my range anyway. Okay, let's fix that range. Finally, a weapon upgrade. More luck, more attack speed and range. I'm gonna buy it so I just roll for free. Okay, now that is good. Now that is good. Now that is kinda good. I'm not gonna buy, gonna buy a gnome. And we can't buy that. We don't need HP. Cute monkey, we don't need it. Lucky charm, we can't take it. And okay, good. Finally. Finally, something's good. Finally, something's good. But still, they are not... Whatever they are, they are not... Money. We need money. <laughs> I need money. Please, game. Uh, I, I don't know, man. Like, uh, if you guys noticed, like, uh, I always say, like, we get a statehood. Every time we make a good build, a good character development, uh, we don't get the hunting trophy. Last, last stream, last stream, uh, when we were doing the uh, Endless Academy, I literally said that, okay, I don't have time, I'm gonna play only 20 waves. My masochist got 3 hunting trophies with 30-40 luck before wave 20. My masochist literally got all of the hunting trophies before wave 20. Now look at this. And by the way, that was a 4 hour-ish video. We did not see a single hunting trophy until that masochist run. And now it is happening again. Okay, this gives a lot of damage. I'm gonna take it just because of the damages. Okay, we need speed. I'm gonna take the lock. Okay, not bad. 3 HP every wave. I don't care about the HP regen and life still, to be honest. Uh, go Scepter. That is another legendary. Bandana for more pierce. Okay, game. Are you okay? Uh, I'm gonna take the dangerous bunny. I'm gonna lock this and roll for free. And I... I don't want that. God damn. God damn. Let's go, wave 20. Yeah, we're gonna destroy the bosses, but... We are still not out of the gutters, ladies and gentlemen. We are still not out of the gutters. We only got one good item out of there. And the weapon upgrades. Yeah, Grind's Magic Leaf is not that big of an upgrade, especially because I have Ghost Scepters. Yeah, the Ghost Scepters are gonna give me so much HP that 3 HP per wave will look like a child's play, basically. Huh. If I can get two more, if I can get two more Vigilante Rings, I'm gonna change my weapons, melee weapons, to choppers. Or explosives. Yeah, if I get two more hunting, uh, two vigilante rings, I'm gonna shift my weapons to choppers. But again, I'm dreaming again. First, we need money. So, hunting trophy and uh, giant spell. Those are what we are looking for. Let's see if we get any. Uh, this literally adds nothing to me. Oh, well, range damage. Let's destroy our crit and attack speed. Why not? Dangerous bunny number three. Not bad. And speed. Okay, that's another weapon upgrade. We don't need any of those. I do not want another bandana. I don't have the money to invest on a bandana, but I'm gonna take it just in case. Tardigrades. Wow. Let's get lucky. I don't know. Not good. Not good. And I'm using Galaxy S24 Plus, which is decent phone for gaming, not a potato phone at all. Uh, the game is not optimized, man. Like, it's not your phone's fault. Uh, you're not supposed to be on Wave 355 in Potato. You know, that we are breaking the game. That is why it is lagging. 
Boy, you have some dope DPS there. Dude, we have the DPS, but we don't have the money. Like, my DPS is just gonna plummet soon. That is the thing. Okay, uh, give me a moment. I need to use the bathroom. One second.
Ladies and gentlemen, I am back at your beautiful presence. And let me read the chat really fast. Oh, one second. I need to do one thing. I just remembered. I just remembered, guys. And that should be on. Okay. Okay, let me read the chat too. I don't know, I'm using it just received the package today with 10 packs of chewing gum. I use a lot, so quite sm quit smoke in one month ago. Oh man, good for you. Good job, man. Good job. Congratulations, really. You're, you're two people now. We have two people in the chat who are quitting smoking. That's great, guys. That's great. Good for you. Good for you and your future family and loved ones. And the harvest mechanic in this game needs to be fixed. Uh, after wave 20, reduce 20% per wave, while the amount you need to buy items increase massively, it destroys the economy too fast. Yes, uh, we just talked about it. Like, it doesn't make sense to reduce your economy. To be honest, it doesn't reduce. They should make a cap for it. Like, either make a cap for harvesting, or make it not be reduced by... Make it re be reduced by flat numbers, at least. Not percentages. That is absurd. Like, that percentage is something that's left on the game like from bef history okay uh, before you could get m unlimited number of paddings and hunting trophies so if you had harvesting you were going to go infinite with every single character if it wasn't reduced but now we have limit on those numbers but the harvesting is still the same I just arranged danger tree and run and got two obliterators oh Jesus Christ somebody is going to crush it Oh man, Sierra, Sierra, you are going to crush that thing, man. Oh my god, Danger 3. Mobs from Danger 3 will run into my Danger 5 games. That is how horribly scared they will be. Uh, the one and only way you can go endless now is explosive and garden kind of suck. Yeah, uh, not gardens. It's HP. It's HP, not gardens. Gardens don't save you, the HP does. Uh, the game show make you diverse the, the gameplay, not limit us like this. Yeah. So, I, the core of my channel is Endless Runs, okay? So, I, I don't let just think about, okay, so th this game, okay, we, need, we should not kill that boss. And never kill the mother. You have to farm her for the mobs. Okay, there you go. Now we farm her. Well, she's gonna die, but it's okay. As we just gotta keep her alive as much as possible. So... I just don't think about the game like okay, so the game's endless mechanics are bad I try to come up with the solutions. Maybe maybe someday one developer one guy who has access to good people good connections To the community can actually like see the videos and go like oh, maybe this makes sense like There are some mechanics that you can make for the game to make it more viable in endless uh, for example one of them one of them is Mm, weapon masteries weapon masteries is one so the longer you use the weapon the more efficient your character becomes with that weapon how can that help you do not get op on the first levels of the game but you become more op over time that can fix things that can fix things and number two okay more mobs crit we need all of it uh we're gonna buy all of the hedgehogs uh, more damage percentage, a tree, crit, we don't even like the melee damage on that, potata, and we're gonna buy that and get another legendary here, and one roll, and we get a tardigrade and speed. So, on, until wave 20, make the mastery in a way that uh, it doesn't affect the normal game. Make the game a little bit more harder. So the mastery is actually, like... Give more HP to the bosses scale the HP of the mobs and the bosses so the mastery doesn't affect the first 20 waves that much But the masteries over time will give you the ability to actually fight endless mobs with every single weapon in the game You just become more efficient your character becomes more experienced better you get XP Okay, now you can use this better weapon better your character just does not uh, scale with level ups, okay, that is one Two, fix harvesting. Make some changes to the harvesting. Make some changes to the lock. So we actually get more, better items, higher level items earlier after wave 20, between wave 20 and 30. So we can actually scale all of our characters. 
or another thing add weapon mastery upgrades because why not you get more efficient with the weapons so now not every weapon sucks in the game okay we got an anvil i'm not buying weapons anymore uh, because this will uh, give me legendary, all legendary weapons and just uh, three waves. So we do not need to spend 200 coins on that. It's going to be for free. So I'm going to get the anvil. Then it's going to give us armor. And uh, we get the tardigrade. Uh, I was getting this mostly because of the armor. Because I have the anvil, I will let this go too. Okay, we can use both of those. I'm not rolling because uh, we don't have money, to be honest. Uh, one second. Cola type. Friend, you needs energy. Like, Weapon Master is really... Makes sense if you think about it. Because... If you change the weapon, if you change the internal systems of the game, it is... <clears throat> it is too much programming work, okay? But if you add, let's say, a modifier to already existing mechanics... That mostly help Endless. Then we can see good waves on every character. And we don't have to get stuck on Demon for going to wave 300. I don't even like wave 300. I just want to go to 100 maybe. Let me go to 100. Let me be uh, able to play a 2 hour game of Potato. Not a 1 and a half hour game. A 1 hour game. Or make items that only appear after wave 20. How about that? So if somebody wants to just play normal games, get Danger 5s done, have their characters done, they can enjoy the game without like having to put the effort in. And your base game and gameplay, which is like one of the most common ones, like they're both endless players and there are just 20 wave, uh, let me get the all Danger 5s uh, players. Okay, this literally gives us nothing, so I'm not gonna pick it. Uh, look. Uh, I'm gonna get the range because we are at negative 75. Okay, okay, not bad. I don't like the sift, but retromation hoodie, we must buy it. 2% attack speed for every percent of dodge, it gives us 138% attack speed, we just buy it. Uh, lure for crates, pumpkin, and we buy sift later. I don't like any of those, I don't like any of those, none of those. And these are good. Okay, I'm gonna buy the coupon. Uh, we cannot change the explosives. I'm too poor for explosions. But, let's see. So, if you add weapons and items that are added to the game after wave 20, then you're not breaking the base game. Normal players, players who just play the game to play it, get the danger fives and then just be done with the game, they enjoy the same game as it was. But, now, the players, the achievement, com the completionists, the people who love keep playing this game. I've been playing this game for a thousand hours almost now. I I only have endless left. Like, I've played everything in this game now. But I want to keep playing it because it's a goddamn good game. And it makes me sad that uh, it is not updated or, let's say, uh, gets more options. I know it is not that lucrative to... Uh... Like, make updates to an indie game that is, like, this many years old. But if you look at the other side of the coin, literally, because the game cannot provide you content anymore, uh, I'm actually gonna get the baby with a beard. This can't help us, kinda. Now my range is garbage. Bag, okay. Beanie for speed, yes. I'm gonna get the luck, so maybe we get better. Okay, Giant's Belt. Fantastic. Finally. Finally one item. Uh, luck. One roll. Wow. I have to take the Mammoth because that's the only way I can improve my damage a bit. So, what happens if you don't, like, pay attention to the already existing uh, like players? Over time, your game, as an indie game, will actually lose players. Why? Because there's not enough content for the content creators to make content for your game. Your game will not get the advertisement that it was. When I started playing Brotato, if you join the Brotato Discord, like the official Discord, every day there was like 8-9 people, different people, posting Brotato videos. Now, let me tell you, 
It's one thing. Uh, one, two, three. Okay, there is Oberkommissar. One, two, three, four, five. There is Oberkommissar again. One, two, Oberkommissar. One, two, Oberkommissar. So it is just me and him. Let me see how long has this been going on for. Coffee Traveler. Okay, Coffee Traveler is a good player. He uh, he streams on Twitch, by the way. Check him out sometime. There's Bisse. And yeah, it's just me, Coffee Traveler, and Oberkommissar. That's it. That's it. That is it now. That, that Discord channel was pumping out content every day, man. That Discord channel was pumping out content. I know Cephalo makes videos too. Uh, Retro Retromation... I, I don't even know if he makes content anymore for Brotato anymore, but it's out of his channel. His channel is just kind of too big for Brotato now. But... This is what happens. When you leave a game for 8 months without upgrading it, and just now you're giving a DLC, don't expect people to, like... I know there will be a lot of people maybe coming back to the DLC, but that is if the content creators that left Brotato decide to come back to Brotato. You lost a lot of them over time, mates. You lost a lot of them over time because of no content. Uh, Giant Spelt. I really love this game. I really respect the developers of it, but... Uh, even though I'm very excited about uh, the new DLC coming out, uh, we lost a lot of good people along the way. <laughs> Let's say. We lost a lot of good people along, along the way. <laughs> and that's the sad part. I, I literally, one of the reasons why I, I say it back and back again, like one of the reasons I made the world record was because this I wanted this game to get more attention because not only it was good for me, it was game good for the game too. Like this is one of my, my most favorite games in all time, man. And... Ah, I can't bitch about it enough. <laughs> I mean, I, I wouldn't even like bother to like do anything about it or say these if I didn't care about the game or the community of it. But again, let, <clears throat> let's hope. Let's hope that people who had to forget about Rotato and making content for it decide to come back when the DLC is out. But if they don't come back, it's not on them, it is on the developer's side. Plant, no. Metal detect, yes. Uh, we're gonna get the crit because now we have the hunting troll. We have the giant spelt. Uh, we're gonna do 1% of every elite and mobs HP equal damage every time we hit them with a crit. So this is one of the only items that helps you scale for endless. But it will stop at some point. So unless I scale my economy well, this will not even be able to save me soon. I need a lot of speed and range. Damn. Uh, let's get the lock and HP. Maybe it changes some things for us. One more. Wow. Okay, well, I'm not gonna roll anymore. Uh, one more. Damn. The Discord is nearly dead now. You bet your ass it is. You bet your ass it is. The Twitch is dead. Last time I checked it, it was just like afternoons. I used to start my streams on Twitch uh, in the afternoon. Uh, I had like five viewers, six viewers because I just started. I, lit I literally had 70 subscribers on Twitch back in the day at that time. When I was just starting my stream, there was at least seven people more. Seven or eight people more with just five, two, one, ten people streaming it. Now, uh, I think I checked it like two weeks ago. There was literally just one person, one person with one viewer streaming potato. It it just sad saddens me. It, it just saddens me. And by the way, one of the reasons why I bought, bought the baby with a beard is because my damage is not scaling enough. Uh, okay, so one more thing. 
6% dodge now gives us 12% attack speed, so it's better than this, because we had a retromission hoodie, so we take these instead of those. Okay, padding, maybe it helps a little bit later, coffee for attack speed, we have to buy all of them. I have to buy that gnome, but I don't have the money to back it up. Uh, attack speed and range, because we need the range, I cannot go for a mammoth, but I have to, because, well, I suck. My damage sucks. Um, last Rostromation's potato content is like a year ago. I mean, his name is literally on the god. Like, go check it out. Like, Rostromation's hoodie. Sift. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Yeah, was there any other item? Yeah, just go check. These these are iconic people and content creators for the game. Go check what they're doing now. And it is not on them. It is not on them that they are not making content for the game anymore. Because Retromation loved this game so much, he literally made mods for it. And he had to do a final episode. <laughs> because the uh, the DLC took them a fucking 3-9 months to release. Okay, by the way, guys, have you checked out my HP? <laughs> uh, we kinda... If, if I don't get a hunting trophy anytime soon, I will have to shift uh, to the potato drawers and keep saving money. Because if I change the potato drawers, it uh, doesn't matter how much damage I do. Uh, just saving coins will give me more damage than scaling myself again. Okay, that's good damage. Oh, uh, blood donation, no. Energy bracelet, no. Uh, I'm gonna get the range because I suck at range. Uh, that melee damage, we're gonna take that too. Uh, if I have 200, I'm not gonna take that anymore. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. That's attack speed and armor, so we have to take it. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, man. Oh, man. I'm not gonna go for a wisdom. Wisdom sucks. Normally, when a game updates for a few months, it means devs almost gave up on it. Maybe it doesn't give them profit anymore. It depends on community. Uh, okay, let's do fact checks. Steamcharts.com. You can always check there. You can always go back. Uh, I checked it last night for Stardew Valley. Now, because the <laughs> finals, or let's say the, uh, what to call it. Uh, it's it's university exam times. People are coming back to gaming. People are playing more games during the exam seasons. Yes. So on the past thirty days, on the past thirty days, uh, and this is ne a never losing, a never losing cycle. Uh, on the last thirty days, um, Stardew Valley has gained forty eight thousand five hundred players. With an increase of 58% on it. And it has only been negative players for one... Okay, since the start of the, this year, it only had lost uh, players in one month. And it has gained over... Uh, he It lost 6,700 players on February. And now on January, March and this last 30 days, it had gained, uh, that is 10,000, that is 60,000, 108,000 players. It lost 6,000 and gained 108,000 players in months, in the last four months. Now, let's check Brotato. This is gonna be the last four months player base for Brotato. Uh, since, uh, which month was the uh, beta, like... Brotato 1 released? Uh, let me let me check. Do you guys know which month was Brotato released on? I have to go to the library. It was... Yeah, June 23, June 2023. 
So let's check from June. So when they released one, Protato gained a thousand players on the first month, on the seven days that it got released. Then it gained four thousand players again, and lost four thousand, lost two thousand, lost three hundred, gained two hundred players, lost hundred, gained twenty nine, lost eight hundred, lost one hundred sixty, gained eight hundred eighty three. Just because they said they're gonna release a DLC. Uh, since June, it had, it has lost fifty percent of its players, and that is a total. Since June, Brotato has lost fifty percent of its players in eight months, and that is a big number. That is a big, big number. It was at 8,000 players monthly, now it is at 4,200 players monthly. And then they're developing mobile games, and they're developing the uh, other Brotato games that literally none of them has 4,000 players. So they, they made bad investment actually, like that that's just it, like they made bad investment choices. If they kept, like, building up into Brotato, like, learn from Stardew Valley. I know this is not Stardew Valley, but that game, Don't Starve Together, man, they are releasing updates every 2-3 months for Don't Starve Together. <laughs> you have a good game? Keep play building it up. Like, don't leave it for 8 months. <laughs> uh, Scare Sausage, no. Okay, we literally do not need this HP. We literally do not need this HP. I'm gonna get the five percent damage. I don't want to roll. Okay, that damage percentage. Lure for crates. Maybe we get something good. Garbage, garbage, garbage. I don't need. I need damage percentage. Okay, damage percentage. Oh man. Oh man. Uh, Long Neon, they focus on monetizing the game on a different platform. Yeah, but that's, that platform sucks too, because you literally made a bullet hell game, and the, and one of the things about monetizing Brotato is watch ads so you can replay after you die. Like, you call that monetization? That is low a little bit, if you ask me. Like, you make a bullet hell game so people die and then you show them ads and revive them? That is Mafia boss level, okay? That is level 5 crook. Level 100 Mafia boss level advertisement. I mean, the whole thing about a bullet hell game is that you're stressed about death every second. What good does it do to you if you can just revive by watching an ad? Okay, please drop me a hunting trophy, sir. Please. Uh, we have to buy every single attack speed because I suck. Uh, max HP is speed. We don't need a diploma. That's just too expensive for 20% XP. Coupon number three, sure. Gecko for range, yes, please. Ah, uh, none of these, none of those. Damage percentage, we have to buy all of them. Damage percentage, we have to buy all of them. Okay, I am going to shift from this to that. I'm not gonna buy spice sauces. Okay, coupon, extra enemies. Uh, adrenaline is not that bad, and speed. Please give me a power generator. Or something that gives it. So, the reason why I'm changing to choppers is because there is literally no good melee weapons for us anymore. Unless we ship the choppers. Because chopper... Uh, let me show you to show it to you after we kill these bosses. Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. You need to die. So... Soon, uh, all of my weapons will just be bad. 
but there's one thing about choppers that makes it an excellent weapon and the only good weapon for playing endless. <clears throat> and it is... Because choppers take 50% of your melee damage and 20% of your HP and gain damage. I use the ghost axes to scale my damage up a little bit during like fa farming my HP with these because these give HP, HP gives this damage, these give damage percentage and damage percentage gives this damage. I cannot have range damage, six range weapons, so I must have three melee weapons. So when I upgrade these, these are the best damage weapons that I can get right now for my character. Uh, I will try to shift the choppers like on all of my melee weapons and get an extreme amount of range now. Uh, but if I don't get it, well, unlucky. Unlucky if you don't get it. Please, one of you be a hunting... Okay, perfect, perfect. This is perfect. Because I literally removed the weapon that gave me damage percentage. Now, this is gonna give me the damage percentage while I get a weapon that does real damage. Because, again and again, let me tell you, if a weapon in any game, in any RPG game, has added the stats, it means that, uh, like, additional effects, like poison, like, slows your enemy down, like, sucks life out of him. If a weapon has those, that makes that weapon do less melee damage, uh, less damage over time, give you less armor, give you less stats. So, now, I sold the weapon that was utility, and giving me damage percentage, then I got a pure damage weapon with a little bit of utility, so now I will dish out more damage while still having the utility effect on my character. Uh, bat, we don't need it. Tractor. Tractor will give me some money, but 20%, 20%, 20%, 50. So I will lose... One, two... This will actually give me money if I can stay alive for 8 waves. Oh, improved tools, not bad. 10% attack speed. I'm taking for the attack speed, not because of the structures. We don't have structures. Okay, range. It's worth it. I'm gonna get it. Maybe I get a crate. I don't care about that sick 4 melee damage and 2 range damage. Oh, well, that this fixes that. Uh, I'm gonna get the dodge, because dodge gives a lot of attack speed to us, more enemies, uh, healing on dodge. Please give me choppers now. Okay, there you go. And I'm going to delete a ghost axe and take a chopper again. And by the way, by the way, by the way, uh, when you upgrade the choppers, they, number one, they do damage, and every weapon gets better cooldown when you upgrade it, like, see, level 022, 023. And these are gonna get automatically upgraded because of my anvil. So I don't need to worry about, like, upgrading them. Uh, come on, give me one more chopper. Uh, well, more enemies. Okay, let's go, 32. Okay, so I'm gonna f kill the bosses really easily, and I'm not gonna get kills with my melee weapons anymore. Uh, because I want, I literally want my scepters to get all of the kills. And the reason why I got the baby is because I am making up for the fact that I have three melee weapons. Uh, by having that baby. So every time that baby crits, it's gonna activate a uh, giant spelt. So I chose that baby. So when I'm like running away from the bosses, I still do damage to them by killing the mobs with my melee weapons. Just to give tits for tat thing. Okay, let's actually move around and get some uh, pierce value out of these scepters. So, the more I don't kill with my melee weapons, the more powerful my melee weapons become. That is basically the name of the ball game now. <laughs> don't kill shit with your melee weapons if you want to make them stronger. Uh, metal Shore, uh, that is a little bit more attack speed. A damage percentage, we have to buy all of it. Dangerous Bunny, last one. Nice, more enemies. None of these. None of those. This is actually quite good. Oh god, 9% speed. I can't, I have to roll and get my last dropper, sorry. And this gives range, I'm gonna take it. I don't care about armor. Ah, I need to fix my crit as well. 
How many tardigrades do I have? Do I, I have two, right? If I take it, I'm gonna have... 48, 24, that is 60, 72 damage, 72% damage, plus 2% because I have a Grind's Magic Leaf, which gives me 1% life steal every wave. Then I have to ignore the 350 that I spent on this. But I have damage scaling, so that could be good. Okay, I'm taking a bloody hand. We are, we are abandoning our tardigrades. Okay, let's go. Abandon tardigrades. Jumping ship, ladies and gentlemen. Jumping ship. And that's our last chopper, by the way. And the only good thing that a chopper level 4 gives you is you get more consumable healing from it. Let's go. 33. And my first priority right now is getting 50% speed. Yes, 50% speed. Or I won't be able to dodge after wave 40. Okay. Uh, by the way, my I know my damage will not be enough. That's why I'm moving closer to them. I need kills, but I can't kill now. So I have to kill the big mobs with my choppers, so the little mobs are fed to my scepters. So I have to find big mobs and kill them so my scepters don't lose attacks on them. Micromanaging, baby, at an enormous way. At an inhuman level. An inhumane level because aliens are crying. We are killing them too hard. Get spanked, bitch. <laughs> okay, more luck. Snake, no. Medal for speed. I don't like crit is my main damage, but I have to reduce it because if I don't dodge, you don't get the chance to play. Uh, speed. Okay, we sell this last one. We buy the chopper. We buy the bloody hands. Now it's gonna make me go to 334% damage. We need to get all the speed and crit. Holy shit. Holy shit. I don't have the armor to back you up, sir. I don't... I have an Excalibur! So, <laughs> let's go 34. Oh god, I am doing 2000 inhuman damage with my choppers. Hold on to your hats, ladies and gentlemen. It is about to get altered in here. Because I'm going to put turds in those aliens' mouths. Because I shall have an Excalibur, which does 200% of your melee damage, which I have a fuck ton of. And 200% of my HP, which I again have a fuck ton of. Excalibur for the win, ladies and gentlemen. Excalibur for the win. If I can get two more of those, we are going places. <laughs> if I can get two more Excaliburs and make my armor go negative 16. Because uh, the bad side about having Excalibur is every Excalibur reduces your armor by 18. I have 35 armor, so if I take two of them, I will be at negative one armor. <laughs> but who cares about armor? Just dodge. <laughs> get good. Uh, I'm gonna get the luck. Maybe we get lucky. Okay, can I sell you? Okay, I can't sell you and buy it. So I will just do one, two, three. Okay, well, that sucks ass. I do not want that. I want damage percentage more than attack because this thing does 8,800 damage. Look at that beautiful thing. Holy shit. <laughs> Please, Mr. Anvil, it would be awesome if you can actually make this one a level 2 or this one a legendary. Please do not make this any worse. Like, if you make this a legendary, I'm kind of fucked. So let's go 35 and hope that I don't get the thing I don't want upgraded. Upgraded. 
Okay, I need to kill that mother fast or it's gonna kill me. This is a exception. We usually do not kill the mother early, but we have to because I don't want to die. Because I had to abandon my tardigrades for more damage. Okay. Oh god. 700... 750 HP. I am a fucking tank. Please kill. With range weapons. The moment I get that Excalibur, by the way, that Excalibur will do so much damage. They are going to cry pee from their eyes. Because they're gonna shit and pee themselves at the same time from down and up. Well, a free regen potion is a free regen potion. It doubles your HP regen when you're below 50%. So you just take it for the lulls of it. Uh, I don't care about 2 HP. I'm gonna take the damage percentage because it gives more damage. 4% lifesteal actually now gives me 8% damage. So I'm gonna take the sweet stone too. Extra stomach gives me 10 HP because every time you eat a fruit on max HP, you get more HP. Uh, less attack speed, more HP, no. More range, always. Well, as planned, now I'm going to mix these and take that. And from 20, 35 armor, I shall go to 17. But because I mixed all my weapons and now they are all legendaries, I will get two armor back every wave. Because when you don't have weapons to upgrade with Anvil, it gives you two free armor. You gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> You gotta be fucking shitting me. You gotta be fucking shitting me. Their tears are so close, I can taste it. Gatling laser with Excalibur. Holy shit. I need to not die. <laughs> and he is doing 23,000 crit with that Excalibur. Because this mother trucker has 188 melee damage. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. He made it. He made it. Unbelievable. And this is, ladies and gentlemen, why we do not give up on our potatoes. Because our potatoes are precious. <laughs> okay. Now my main focus is two stats. Speed and crit. Speed and crit. If we get those, this guy is going places for real. Speed and crit, please. Speed and crit, please. Okay, 800, 840, 850. Oh, right. 860. Well, a free spice sauce is a free spice sauce. And a flurry alloy that gives crit, we take it. We don't even care about the melee damage anymore. I do care about the melee damage, holy shit. Uh, armor, uh, okay, armor is better. Okay, we're almost there. Uh, this gives crit, we have to buy it. Anything that gives crit, we buy it. One roll. Okay, I literally do not need any of these. That baby has done 3 million and 84 thousand damage holy shit uh hello aero hello hello how you doing dear how you doing dear aero ever do aero do you see me hold this thing finally i yield the weapon of kings paza paza mr patata come and enjoy some tata Come and enjoy some potato. Oh, by the way, you can literally like see the go on him. He says, go. Like, look, go. 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 <laughs> Mr. Potato, save me from that boss. Because I want a Gatling laser and I need to kill two waves to get that. Or actually, 350. I just need to survive this and get a thousand coins. We are selling every item that we get from those bosses. 
Hello, I have Comet with an Excalibur. You die. <laughs> Arthur has arrived. You die. You lose. Today. Bye bye. <laughs> Oh, please give me speed and crit so I can destroy these. <laughs> please, game. Hello. Hello, game. Please. I said please. I'm pretty at the same time. You have to do it now. You're obliged. Have some manners, fucking game. And please give me a tentacle. I literally cannot heal. <laughs> because life is still sucks ass in this game. <laughs> you, what do you mean you can always... Life regen, like, look at this, man. Your attacks have a 45% chance to heal 1 HP with a max of 10 HP per second. Like, yeah, I have 700 HP. <laughs> so I can only heal 600 if I start healing 10 every second from the start. <laughs> what do you mean everything has a max? <laughs> okay. We cannot lose that. We cannot take that, but I will because melee damage translates to range damage too. Lock, harvesting no, life steal no, even though it gives damage, crit. And I get a goddamn Gatling laser and lose 20 HP. Because when you have two legendaries, you start losing 20 HP per legendary weapon. Now I have a Gatling laser and I have an Excalibur. I am mighty and I get a power generator for free. Okay, we literally do not need any of those, but this could be good. Okay, time to go pew 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 pew. Hello, Mr. Brotato. Hello, Aero. Oh, uh, can only have one sword? No, we can have three. We can have three Excaliburs. This, this, my dear, this is the beginning of the end. Look at me hold two excellent weapons in the palm of my hand. Hello, Goba Goba. Hello, hello. Say hello to m Say hello to Goba. Hello. <laughs> okay. Mr. Assistant, let us commence battle on 38 with two 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 gun. Pa 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 pa, mother truckers. Pa 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 pa. Okay, I need to improve my range. That two pa 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 gun is not gonna do good. If you don't have the range. Holy shit, I'm hitting them for 10,500 without crits. <laughs> 10,500 without crits. Holy. <laughs> I knew, I, I always believed in him. I didn't. <laughs> That's a lie. That's a big fucking lie. <laughs> I never believed in him. <laughs> I thought he's garbage. <laughs> but he is not. But, uh, like, all of my runs on this guy were, like, so bad, so disaster. Like, his best record was 28 because I literally don't play him. Because he do he just does not a scale well, man. Like, I never get economy on some characters. I never get hunting trophies on some special characters. Okay, power generator gives us 1% damage for every percent of speed. Stone skin, we gotta buy it because we are poor. I want to buy the potata, but I'm too poor for a potata. So I'm going to save and just buy the stone skin. That That's going to give us damage, by the way. And let me read the chat, Sue. Hello, all potato lovers. Hello, everybody. Yes. And guys, please, 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 if you haven't liked the video, please like the video so uh, I get more algorithm from the YouTube. Uh, being a potato streamer is not good. <laughs> I Literally, my... Uh, uh, I, I checked the algorithm for the views. Literally, my viewership from Brotato is the same 50, 60, 100 people that I get all the time. Like, there's no new viewers. So, you guys are rare. You guys are rare to come by. So, please like the video. So, YouTube gives me better algorithm. So, maybe we attract some non-potato lovers into our community of potato lovers. Like that, I, that's, um, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm pissed. Like, this game was getting thousands of players every day. Let's go. And we got a 1,200 plus that 400. So, our economy is doing good too now. Attack speed is good. Oh, that crit is fantastic because we need to get crit capped soon. 
Uh, Stone skin gives us one HP per armor, and we have an anvil, so we will get two HP every wave plus two armor. I'm never gonna buy spice sauce for that is for like in the shop. I don't care about 10% tax speed, but I have to buy this the best thing for that. Okay, that's good. Uh, none of those. Okay, I'm gonna die now, guys. Hello, Nerx. Okay, I'm gonna have an allergic reaction to you, man. Say bye to the chat. You will come back on the next episode. Bye, chat. Bye bye. Hey, he's gonna come on the next character. Like, I, I put him here on my chest, and I literally give. Uh, I'm allergic to potato, I think. Uh, but it, it, like, makes the scratch and becomes red after a while. Uh, I hope you will get more viewers when the DLC comes out. I hope to. I hope to. But, uh, like, the best part of the DLC is going to be that I and my community will finally get to play a game together. After goddamn eight months. After eight months, we finally found the game that we were already playing that we can actually play together uh, during the streams. When the DLC is coming out, there might be a chance for a uh, new viewership. Yeah, Nerx, like, there, there definitely will be. I, like, but don't get your high hopes up. Okay, I need to focus. It's wave 40. They're gonna destroy my push, eh? Okay, that Excalibur is literally destroying everyone. Okay, we need to kill this mother before it's late. Okay, I'm gonna tank him. Yeah, I had to tank that not dodge there. If I dodged, that could have been bad. Uh, because I have the HP, I can take some hits. I have 800 goddamn HP. I'm afraid of no aliens. But uh, don't get that. Don't get your ho hopes up. Okay, I literally like. Uh, yeah, one of the things I said was, you. This game gets returning viewers. That means the people who have watched my streams come back and watch the streams again, even if they are subscribed or not subscribed. And that means that this game is not getting viewers for the game. It is not about me. The game is not getting viewers. <laughs> God damn it, potato. You have failed me. Uh, no, repent here. We can't take it. White flag. We don't take it. Well, dodge gives us 12% attack speed. Let's take that. Bag. I cannot reduce my range. Sorry. Uh, speed. We need all of the speed, even though if it's in the cost of range. Oh my god, a second Gatling. Oh god, I am going to destroy some people. I am going to destroy some aliens. Let's go away 41. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. We're gonna have three legendary weapons on one character, guys. Coming soon. Coming soon. I am gonna lose 40 HP. Yay! <laughs> Which will reduce the damage of my Excalibur. The only weapon on me that does damage. <laughs> oh god, they're hitting me for 200 damage. Oh god, they're hitting me for 200 damage. Don't get hit, we do not have tardigrades. We are literally destroying our tardigrades because I took a bloody hand because I wanted damage. <laughs> Risk it for the biscuit, baby. Risk it for the biscuit. And I need two pumpkins, by the way. I need two pumpkins. Please, game. You didn't give me a hunting trophy. You're not giving me speed. At least give me my pumpkins. How anti-Durandian can you be, man? That This is just racist at this point. <laughs> oh, God. For 5% damage and... Oh, okay, it gives crit too, so... Might as well just take it. It's better than my weapon, by the way. Yeah, no. <laughs> guys, guys, I'm going to get squashed by aliens soon. Okay, please hype me up because I'm about to lose my fucking life and mine at the same time. Okay. I have no speed to dodge, by the way. The hype is... Okay, serious gamer mode. Serious fucking gamer mode on.
speed problem. Speed problem. I should not have died there. I literally moved out of that. I literally moved out of that. God damn. God damn. 23% speed. Really? But again, GG. 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 Ooh. A man cannot dodge all. A man cannot dodge everything. Fucking A. 1.8 million damage. 1.6 million damage. And it's still not fucking enough. 1.8 and 1.6 million fucking damage and still not enough. 11 million damage done by the baby. 11 million damage done by the baby. God damn. Good run. Good run. Good fucking run. If I had 20% more speed, this could have been avoided. But I did not have the money or the items, guys. But good. Yeah, I left the... Yeah, GG. GG. Good run. Good run. No economy, but good run. No economy, but good run. We, we managed to pull off two legendary weapons. It was going to be three if I survived this way. But didn't happen. And one of the main reasons why I wasn't doing enough damage... Like, one of the bosses should have died there. The reason why the boss didn't die is because Durandian is not pierce capped. I was getting negative 25% damage per pierce. So, my ranged weapons, which are my main damage dealers, were not able to dish out enough damage. If I had that pure pierce, by the way, if I had that pure pierce, this gun was going to do over 2 million damage here. The Gatling laser was going to definitely do more, more than 2 million damage here. But again, we managed to bring him to 42 with no economy items almost. Like this only... I, I got 55% extra enemies and this. This is all my economy. Welcome to economy 101. Metal detector gave, that gives you a thousand coins and fucking 42 waves. <laughs> And that's it. That is all my economy. And this and this, which are just garbage compared to anything else. Like, coupons are good, but still. Like, you need to have money to spend money to get discount on your money. If you don't have money, you can't even use your discount coupons. <laughs> but these were good too. 153% from Vigilante Ring. And I don't regret, I don't regret taking the bloody hand. Yeah, this, this literally made it possible to go through, like, wave 36. Yeah, if it wasn't for this, we were not going to go past wave 36, probably. Yeah, I looked at Twitch, and the most viewed potato stream right now has, like, 10 viewers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, back in the day when I was streaming potato on Twitch, potato sometimes had uh, streamers with 1,000 and 300 and 400 views. In most days. And they were different streamers, by the way. Not the same streamers. Different streamers. And who cares? When a DLC comes. I'm, man. I'm very happy with my community, man. I love you guys. Like, the amount of fun we have on that fucking Discord. <laughs> like, sharing memes. Making lores. One of you made a song, goddammit. Like... You guys are just amazing. Thanks for all the support. Again and again and again. Thanks for all the supports, man. Thanks for all the support. Like, there are days, there are days that I'm literally tired. I don't want to come and stream. Like, I can't. Like, I, I'm like, ah. Oh, but I'm like, ah. Oh, but the fellas are there. <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, I'm good. <laughs> because streaming really puts me in a good mood. And I want people to enjoy it too. I know I bitch a lot about Protator these days. But it's because of my frustration. Because... Like, come on, man. Come on. <laughs> I mean, pay some pay some respect back to your community. But again, we made a new wave. We made a new record on Generalist. Now he stands tall upon the waves of 42 shores. And that is good. Okay, who next? Okay, who is the below 30 character now? Oh, oh no, Mr. Weidling, why? Mr. Weidling, why? Even Pacifist is on 39, how are you on 25, man? 
This guy literally cannot kill. <laughs> I mean, why? <laughs> How dare you be on 25? The pacifist is on 39, man. <laughs> the guy who can't kill has, don't, has gone far, further than you. <laughs> Shame on you. Shame on you. Oh my god, gladiator. Oh god, saver. Oh no, guys, what have you done? Sick is okay, like Sick literally has nothing. Ghost can get better too, but I don't know. And this guy can definitely get better. I think I haven't played him like for a long, long time. And this guy has good potential too. This guy can go far too. And yeah, there are a lot of characters that we have to actually play. Like Streamer is one of them. Yeah, I don't like these. Like, 49 is acceptable. But, again. I mean, 29 Masochist and 25 Knight. That is ridiculous. I don't want to play Wild Link. He's kind of lame. Yeah, and we already played somebody from the first line. Uh, entrepreneur is good, engineer is fun, explorer, we all, we play him almost every week because I love that character. Arms dealer is good. Hmm. Who shall be the winner for the last run of today? Hmm. Gladiator is good too. I, I know he sucks, kinda. But fixing that lock will be a pain in the ass. Hmm, guys, what do you think? What do you think, guys? What should we do? I would vote for ghost. Are you ghosting me? Should I be ghosting? <laughs> I think Ghost could be too, but uh, we just played Ethereal Weapons. Ah, hello Shishington. Hello and welcome. I, if you play Ghost, like I literally have to play Ethereal Weapons again. I want to make a build. Ethereal Weapons do not need the build. I literally have one build that works for almost everyone. And guys, please, if you haven't liked the video, like the video so the YouTube algorithm becomes more pat pat to Drandian. And if you want to see more potato stuff and indie game stuff, subscribe. And thank you. But Gladiator could be fun too. Yeah, Gladiator could be fun because his weapons are always random. Like, you can't choose weapons on that guy. Like, you literally just have to pick something and go. <laughs> Like, literally, you need to have six different weapons to maximize his, uh, like, games. And makes it challenging. And you cannot equip range weapons, so that's another thing. And I don't like Wave 27. Like, what, what the... Like, you know, if a potato has less than pacifist, that means we haven't done it in the past two months or three months. <laughs> like, pacifist makes it to 39 and you have 27. That means something, right? <laughs> <laughs> so if I dodge, if I just dodge and don't die, I can make it to 39. <laughs> but uh, the reason why it is on 39 is because I got them so much speed and armor, they were not hurting me. <laughs> and I got a lot of tardigrades. Uh, yeah, we can do gladiator. We can do gladiator. Why not? Why not? Why not? I like the bull characters. Uh, the bull is nice too, but the bull is a one-trick pony. Because there's only one item that you get for bull and then he's okay. If you can get a blood donation or a bloody hand on bull, you're gonna have a good run. But if you don't get any of those, well, shucks. It's a one-trick pony. I don't like one-trick ponies. But the next next ones uh, we can actually play him but first i want to have all the characters plus wave 30. so i'm gonna try to get all of the characters plus wave 30. gladiator could do yeah let's do gladiator but first durantian needs to go pee bull sucks 
Hmm. How do you know about that? Hmm. What have you done to Bull? How do you know Bull sucks, man? Tell me. How did you get to have that knowledge? Exactly. Tell me all the details about it. <laughs> all right. Uh, let me go to the bathroom. When I come back, we play Gladiator. And we gotta make a precise weapons Gladiator because I can. I will leave my assistant with you guys, so... Uh... Second. Wait a second. Mr. Assistant! Oh god. Mr. Assistant! Take your place! Okay, I'll leave you guys with my assistant. And I shall grant him with the cock zapper. If the chat is horny, you're allowed to hit them. Okay? You're allowed to hit the chat if they get horny. Hor horny chats get cock zapped. He has the cock zapper. Do not be horny. I'll be back.
Hello, chat. Hello. We are back. We are bigger. I am large. I am large and I contain multitudes, as usual. Multiple potatoes, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I am now vertical. I am moving in a very fast manner. Let me get the size right. Get a little bit bigger. Okay, how does it look? Okay, Mr. Assistant, you need to bring me good luck because we're gonna need it. And let's read the chat. A bull is unique, Trevor, a unique, he advances from all type of... Yeah, dude, like, a bull is one of the unique characters because uh, he literally cannot have weapons in a game that is about having six weapons and shooting things with them. And more Chatsu, more Chatsu. Uh, try multitasker, we, we have a good, uh, like, we're going with line, like, uh, multitasker is probably gonna be on episode 4, I guess. And now we only have bloody hand and blood donation to do that. Yeah, sadly, sadly. But, uh, you can't get hit on endless, like, it makes sense. Uh, but if you can get the explosion size, maybe you can deal, but the problem is, like, explosion damage alone cannot do it, like, you need... HP scaling uh, and gardens too and he can literally not gain enough economy but maybe we get lucky on our next run then night video hey oh hello dead or welcome I had a glad it was a fun class it's also a game to buy items but you beat without items I mean weapon you beat it with weapon upgrades man like this guy gets 20% more attack speed for every different weapon he has plus 5 melee damage since the start but you cannot equip ranged weapons negative 40% attack speed and negative 30 luck which will be a little bit hard to fix those but we're gonna get our legendaries fast because why because we are going to play a precise weapon gladiator that starts with a thief dagger danger 5 welcome to the endless academy Bring me luck, goddammit. Bring me luck. Okay, we literally do not have attack speed, so... Let's get money so I can buy attack speed. And we will abuse that 5 mil- Okay! We're gonna abuse the hell out of that 5 melee damage so we get the attack speed. Okay, free range on the first wave. Alright, give me harvesting. Well, you were not gonna. One more. Well, you're not gonna, so I'm gonna take the melee damage here. And not a ghost weapon, we need precise weapons. And that is another leaf dagger. Hell yeah. And that's another coupon. That's another precise weapon, precise weapon, precise weapon. I'm gonna try to get six daggers for him first. Yeah. But a knife will make me like normal, so let's take the knife. Now I'm on normal attack speed. I will try to have five thief daggers here. At the start, at the start. Then, later, we're gonna change when we get our hunting trophy. Okay, we need thief daggers. There you go, there you go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, if you play Modern Rotator Bull plus Artifice, it is fun. Oh man, that is a killer build. That is a killer build. Uh, green screen. Oh, thank you. There we go. Now I messed that part up, but that gets fixed. 60 coins, we one on is one is solid. Uh, I wish fighting stick didn't suck even on muted, so the character could be more fun too. Dude, the, the fighting stick has, like, internal mechanics problems, man. Like, that weapon has internal mechanics problems. Because you don't get leveled up enough. Uh, a mutant, exactly. Because he cannot buy items. Like, why? What is XP gain good for if you can't even buy more of it and, like, get harvesting? Like, you can get harvesting with your skills, but you literally can buy, like, two... I don't know, 15, 20 items on him. Uh, we need to fix our luck pretty fast. But harvesting comes first. Come on. Okay, five harvesting. And 
We get the Thief Dagger. It, uh, it's wave 2, so we need to uh, roll for weapons. I need all of my daggers. Okay, that's another Thief Dagger. And that's our last Thief Dagger. Nice. Let's go. I don't need that attack speed bonus. I do not need that attack speed bonus. I need money. If I can get the money, I can buy uh, my hunting trophy. And my hunting trophy will provide me with more attack speed than that 40%. That uh, having different weapons give. So what I'm going to do is... I'm gonna scale this character by not using his class bonus until I get my hunting trophy. Then when I get my hunting trophies, I am actually going to scale him with hunting trophy. Uh, attack speed is good. Harvesting is perfect. We get the coupon for item discounts. We get the thief dagger for two less coins. Claw for melee damage and crit because this item has 50% chance to give one material while killing an enemy with a critical hit. So the more crit chance we have, the better for us. Uh, consumable healing is good, but he doesn't have luck. But we have to get it. Because I'm going to improve his luck. And none of those. Let's go. Wait for. Okay, that one uh, dagger is going to be sight for sore eyes until I can fix him. I can fix him. Trust me. <laughs> I can. I will. I must. Uh, but the bad side is, uh, because we have negative luck, we are not going to get that many, like, free crates for out of nowhere. So either I fix that luck, or we are going to be stuck with only being able to, like, gain coins from my hunt, uh, with my thief daggers. Ouch. Come on, break it. Ah. Okay, 5% crit is fantastic. We get that. Uh, weird Ghost, we're gonna buy that. Less, more melee damage and crit. Please give me weapon upgrades or crit or damage. Okay, there we go. Hmm. Okay, we need that. Damn. Goodbye, harvesting. Okay, one bag is good. But we, we can't utilize it right now. But we're gonna utilize it. Like, look at this fighting stick, man. Like, why? Uh, wow, I never tried Gladiator without class bonus. Well, now we do. <laughs> okay, I need to be a little bit careful here until I eat two fruits. Because they can stomp on me and kill me. I will only change my weapons if I know that I'm not gonna be able to kill the bosses. So, if I know that I cannot kill the bosses with my hunting trophies, I'm gonna get the attack speed, kill the bosses, and then gain my weapons back with other methods. Okay, that was risky. But I'd made it. Alive. Oof. Oof, 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 oof. Oof. Ah, oh, that hurt my... That was balls. Come on, guys, hug me. I need you to hug me. Okay, that was on me. I should have went to the left a little bit more. Come on. Two of them and two of them. Ah, man. We didn't get enough coins. Uh, harvesting, please. Harvesting, please. Five harvesting. Okay, extra enemies. Thief dagger. A scissor. Scissor, scissor. A uh, good thing about Scissor is that it can't get many kills because it doesn't do much damage. So most of the kills are going to be with the Thief Dagger. Hmm. Hmm. And it's going to fix my attack speed. So let's take that. That will heal me because it has 40% chance of healing you. Okay, we're never going to upgrade it. Okay, give me my Thief Daggers. Okay, coupon and Thief Dagger. Let's go, wave 2. And we are lucky because wave 12, uh, you guys don't see it, but wave 12 is a horde wave. So, we are on a better start. We are on a better start. And now my side weapon is... Uh, kinda better, because it doesn't do as much damage as the uh, knife. Because knife is literally the only weapon that does three times of your damage as damage on crits. Uh, we're gonna need the crit, but harvesting is better. Please give me harvesting. No harvesting, so I get the attack speed. Thief dagger 2. Thief dagger 3. Thief dagger 4. Heck yeah. Let's go. Hmm. 
now. Give me a lot of crit, because crit makes money, and money is honey. Especially when your potato sucks ass, because you're not using his class bonus, because class bonuses are overpowered by money in this game. So if you have coins, you don't need your character to be good, you just need money. Every potato is Batman, basically. The superpower of potatoes is being like Batman. Okay, 5 harvesting, I'm taking that. 30 range or 5% attack speed. 30 range is better. Okay, uh, coupon, item discount, thief dagger, more enemies, because we need all of them. Um, thief dagger, and we're gonna buy this later. I'm gonna get the XP. Let's go, wait for. Uh, I didn't uh, use my last coins for the reroll because I didn't need it. I already have two items that I want from that shop. Come on, die. Die, 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 die. We are in a better place than the last run. We are in a better place than the last run. Because now we have both more harvesting and we're gonna have more harvesting. Plus, uh, we got a better side weapon, which will heal me actually a little bit. But again and again, I don't mind dying on Endless, even though like it, it, it feels bad all the time to die. But well, risk it for the biscuit. I have to take those 1 HPs. Okay, 10% attack speed is fantastic. I'm just gonna take it. More harvesting, less damage, more XP, less range. And we get another Thief Dagger. Fantastic, fantastic. I'm gonna buy that, but next time. Come on. Okay, let's just buy it and go. Actually, no, I don't have the luck to luck roll. Uh, yeah, fighting stick is kind of bad. Man, fighting stick is nothing compared to the other weapons. Like, literally, uh, if a weapon does... Like, I said this uh, when we were doing the generalist run. Uh, in any RPG game, if a weapon has a special traits, it has to be weaker. But when it doesn't have a special traits, it has to be, like, better on damage-wise. So, either you get extra utility from your weapon, or you get extra damage from it. But that thing does not have extra utility and it doesn't give you extra damage. So why the hell do you even exist? Like, what were they planning when they made that weapon? Like, there, there are two weapons that I really don't understand in this game. One of them is the crossbow and the other one is that fighting stick. Literally, I tried to make it work. This is not me just talking out of my ass, by the way. I literally tried to make that weapon work. It just does not work. That weapon does not work. We have to take those because we have to risk it. Uh, damage percentage. Sure. Come on, give me something good. Oh, oh, oh. Good is nothing compared to this. Let's go. Let's go. I'm not rolling 15. Let's go. Six. I need to survive. Please survive, sir. We have a good run. We have a level 3 dagger on wave 6. You have to earn coins. Come on. And now I am gonna focus melee damage because I got enough uh, harvesting out of him. Oh, come on, man. You can't die here. You cannot die here, sir. You should not die here. That was a mistake to die. No more. We do not repeat the mistakes of the past. We learn from them. Alright. That was a good crit. That was a good one. 260 coins. Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, I need damage melee. Damage melee. Oh, 7% crit. I have a lot let that go. 10 harvesting. I have a lot let that go. I am fucked, guys. <laughs> <laughs> metal detector metal detector gives you a chance to double the value of the material that drop and literally this drops extra materials if it kills, kills with crit so this is perfect with this plus extra enemies plus this or hunting trophy metal detector now this neutralizes the negative 5% damage from that so now it is like we are the same person but better okay we cannot we don't really do consumable healing because we are at negative luck. So I'm actually gonna take this. Oh my god, even less damage, but more. Yeah, damn. Okay, I have to take that goat skull. 
Yeah, I can't kill the mobs on wave 10 if this keeps going on. I literally have 3 melee damage. I need to have 12. I'm missing 9 melee damage, basically. Oh god, and I'm getting 3 goddamn slashers because I took the goddamn item. Okay, I am screwed. Come on, you need to die really fast because your friend is here now. Oh god. Oh lord. Lord have mercy because I have sinned. That sin is called not having enough damage. That sin is called not getting enough damage for your character. And I got another one. I am really screwed. Come on guys, you are pushing this potato too hard. Like, why? <laughs> but we made 340 coins, so who cares? <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna get more attack speed. No damage for you, sir. More melee damage, less damage but more crit, because I care about more money, not damage. I can dodge. Or if I can't dodge, I will die. Uh, let's range more XP. We have a lot of harvesting, so XP is actually really good for him. Okay, another one, and more crit, and recycling machine for more money from the items that I don't want. More range, and I get to roll for free. And garbage. And garbage. Let me read the chat. Uh, Donnie, it's not kinda bad, it is useless. <laughs> not if you want extra challenge. Yeah. Basically. Basically, yeah. Did I finish my... Uh -uh. <laughs> Guys, I have no more drinks. I, I need to make it through tonight with coffee and I can't drink like more coffee today because I literally have to wake up too early in the morning tomorrow I have to go to the bank before I go to my job that is gonna suck ass tomorrow man that is gonna suck ass all right all right, all right. yeah I don't have the damage to kill those guys but I'll push him uh, I'm basically just by the way killing them not because I have damage because I'm doing too much too many crits yeah, I'm killing them with crits, not damage. He has no damage. Our superpower is that we are critical of everything. He is he's a critical. He's a crit man. A critical thinker of our time. The gladiator. He's looking for the Kaiser to kill him. Oh god. Okay, that was dangerous. See, like, this is my sickness. I have to buy this, but I want money, so I will get the crit. <laughs> uh, I'm getting the damage percentage here. Okay, more damage percentage and more enemies, because why not? I can. <laughs> okay, that is another one. And that is more enemies. And that is more luck and dodge. Who needs life steal when you can... I don't know. Like, I'm in danger. Save me from myself. I'm about to ruin my own life. <laughs> to make a new game vote. And not not for uh, not for some time. Because uh, I want to keep making the Stardew Valley videos. So right now I'm just going to do Brotato and Stardew Valley for a while. And sadly, uh, I don't want to stop playing Stardew Valley. I'm really enjoying that game. And uh, there's, a, there's a part of our community that actually watches that game. And we already voted on it, so I'm not gonna change it. Like, I can't make uh, game changes, like, every now and then. I changed four games this month already. Like, we played Autoforge, we, uh, we played Supermarket Simulator, we played uh, a couple of more games that I don't remember the name of. But, yeah, it's gonna be Brotato and Stardew Valley for a while. It's before wave 9, you don't need damage, you don't need a crit for enemy money. Yeah, we just need crit for getting extra coins. Like, if I have the money, I'm eventually gonna make it, though. But wave 9, I think we can earn about 650 coins. Yes, yeah, 700. 700-ish coins here. Yep, we're gonna make 700-ish coins here. But... I have to kill everything, basically, so I will be in the middle of this shitstorm. That is wave 9. And I have no healing. Because, well, I have healing actually. Like, the, 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 the scissor is healing me by 1 HP every time it hits. I mean, that is healing, then what is? <laughs> if that is not healing, then what is? Really? Guys. 
Oh god. Oh god. Okay, that's 400 and we still have 20 more seconds. And I need to go to that tree because I am greedy as fuck, boys. And I'm gonna... And I get rewarded. <laughs> and I get rewarded for taking that risk. And going to that tree. Now I'm gonna die. Oh god. Oh god, just one more second, man. Yeah, see, 700. Actually, oh god, 850 coins. Damn. And uh, this dynamite is free, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna get the attack speed. I am going to take the speed. And we get rewarded more. We can only equip melee weapons, so mastery is pretty good. That's gonna make up for the fact that I don't have any damage. Yeah. Okay, now I'm only missing one. Yeah, we are missing only two melee damage. Yeah, I got two melee damage. We are on the perfect spot. And we have a lot of coins, so we can roll the hell out of this game. I don't have lifesteal to deal with the baits. Or the armor. I'm not gonna risk it. Okay, speed and power generator, which gives us 1% damage for every percent of speed. Now I have damage too, a little bit. Now, I have a hunting trophy. I will destroy this, guys. I will destroy this. I am going to ruin their lives. Uh, more luck, but less luck and more damage and XP. Finally, Drandian gets to play with the fucking hunting trophy, hell yeah. With a fucking hunting trophy. Hell yeah. Do not die. Do not die. I will kill you if you die. I will delete you from Burritato if you die. Holy, I don't have damage. Jesus, I don't have damage. Yeah, I need to be able to one-shot them at this point of the game. Yeah, I usually one-shot this here, but because I got so much money and risked it so much with the crits uh, That it's actually working kind of As I say, this is a risk-taking and if you take risks you get rewarded and we took so many risks So many unnecessary risks and I have to be really careful here because we literally can die to the small mobs because I don't have the attack speed. We might need to start doing something. Ah, 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 goodbye, sir. Ah, goodbye, sir. Oh. Mm. If I only survived two more waves, I could have got more attack speed for him. Ah, oh, what a fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah, too many enemies, too many enemies, 20% extra enemies. But was worth it, was worth it. He can do this, he can do this. I just need to keep it. I just need to keep it stable. If I can get my hands on a single tentacle, on a single tentacle, he does not need anything. I can tank everything. Yeah. But again, like look, crit less damage, less healing for HP basically. Big item, big item. But again was good, again was good, but inevitable kinda, kinda inevitable. I had no healing and no attack speed to like deal with it. Maybe switching to manual targeting would have helped. I did manual. Yeah, I did a little bit of manual, it didn't. I, I simply did not have the attack speed for it. Like we are literally not using his skill. Like, you know, you have to have different weapons on him, but I'm abusing my powers as Drendian of taking risks. <laughs> okay, okay. Again. Let's roll the dice again. Uh, I'm gonna speed this a little bit up uh, because we need to be fast because it's gonna get late and I want to finish this run before today's stream ends. So, Drendian will do fast Drendian now. Uh, melee damage, uh, fertilizer, save it. Uh, no. Okay, that's one. That is two. 
That is three. Consumable healing. Plank, no. Let's go. Wave two. Okay. I don't care about the attack speed right now. Yeah. Uh, what I've learned from that run is that he can do without the attack speed till wave five. So I don't need to take another weapon till wave five. And I can just take a random weapon on wave five. He has enough damage. So I can get the maximum amount of like uh, coins out of his crits. Uh, more crit. No harvesting, please. Well, crit. Give me... That's 5%. I'm not going to let it go. And uh, Deep Danger. Okay, harvesting. Let's go wave 3. And even less damage. Because why not? Because I can. Okay, now I will get my last Deep Dagger and another weapon soon. It's still not gonna fix him because I literally removed damage from him while not having damage on him. But, well, uh, I'm getting more coins. I'm getting a lot more coins. Uh, yeah, that's five. That is six. Come on. That is seven. Okay, we got seven extra coins on him. Uh, two melee damage. Uh, we can... Okay, 6 HP is not that bad. Uh, consumable healing. None of these, please. Oh, God. Oh, God. Good Lord, save my soul. I'm going to destroy myself. Okay, that. Hatchet. Hatchet is not that bad because it has lower range than my... Daggers, like the chances of me getting kills with hatchet is really low. But if I take the hatchet, I will need to buy uh, healing for him. Yeah, if I take the hatchet, I'm gonna need to buy healing for him. And I was able to like use his uh, skills on crit instead of anything else. Uh, and I gained my harvesting by removing my damage. So now he has more chances of killing with crits and more passive income and XP gain. Mid max, min maxing, mini maxing, everything. Life is about min maxing, my guys. Life is about the statistics. Okay, with the level two. With the level two, I either need harvesting or attack speed on this one. Okay, uh, oh god, there's crit. I'm gonna get the crit. I'm going to die. <laughs> okay, we get the hatchet now that fixes my attack speed, but I remove my attack speed by getting HP and melee damage. We get the crate, three, four crates later. Come on. Okay, perfect. 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 Let's go, wave five. Uh, it's been in the different tiers of same weapon don't count as different weapons. Well, that would be OP. Bro, just use this character trait at first. No, that makes him weak because I need more coins. <laughs> yeah, Donnie, that literally would be too easy almost. Okay, let's go. Okay, now we have a weapon that literally cannot kill things that often. So, now most of my kills are gonna be taken by my five weapons. And that weapon is just extra. <laughs> but now I need to get 5%, uh, either 5% lifesteal or a tentacle. So we need to now stop taking anything and I am just going to take lock and... Mm, what? Lock and what? Luck and crit. Oh, two armor. Okay. Oh, 5% crit. Damn, nice. Bag. More HP. Okay, thief dagger. I don't want to upgrade the hatchet. I don't want to upgrade the hatchet. Okay, another thief dagger. Uh, more damage on HP. I'm not going to take life steal. I'll bet on getting a tentacle. Okay. We have to buy that. Let's go wave 6. Okay, I have 40 coins. If I can get uh, a piggy bank, that would be good too. Yeah, if I can get the piggy bank, that would be nice as well. 
Okay, wave 7 is upon us, and I might get squashed there. But thankfully, I have a little bit more damage and a little bit more armor. So I can actually take a couple of hits to the face. Okay, I want your life gone. Feed me a crate, thank you. Okay, 200 coins, 200 coins. 206, but uh, 50 of those coins are from the last wave, so we are still getting 200 coins on this. Okay, nice, nice. We got 230 coins on wave 6. Wait, okay, 5. Uh, I'm getting the luck. I, oh my god, okay, this fixes my luck. Okay, this fixes my like, luck. Okay, we have zero luck now. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Uh, I'm gonna get the speed, but less range. Uh, XP, but less range. More... Okay, I cannot remove my luck, but that XP is not that bad, too. See, like, this is how I play. I have to go with a lot of negatives, so I can actually make him work properly. Hmm... Uh, can you show me character attributes? Yes, it is Gladiator. You get 20% attacks before every different weapon that you have. Uh, and he starts with negative 40% speed and negative 30 luck. But I refuse to take another weapon in. And I'm playing him with zero stats because I want to maximize his coin gain. So he shoots up on endless. Because I need to. Because if you want, you don't get a good endless run. You make a good endless run. It is not given to you by free. It costs you mental points. <laughs> okay, uh, I need to focus a bit. Come on, kill it. Thank you, thank you. That takes a little bit of burden off my shoulders. Come on, kill it. Come on, kill it. Thank you. Ouch. Okay, I kill one, I get one. My suffering shall never end. And I want that goblin. Goblin! Gobble, gobble. Oh, okay. I couldn't. I couldn't. Ah, damn it. Okay, that's 10 luck. Oh! Ooh. Goody, goody, goodies. Goody, goody, goodies. I'm gonna get that 6 melee damage. And thief dagger. More speed, less range. We need to fix my range. Okay, less crit, more melee damage. Okay. Okay, more luck, more armor. Okay, that's a lot of crit. That is a lot of crit. That is a lot of crit. Yeah, you're right, but I think it's inconsistent with the focus item. I mean, like, you have to do everything you can. Like, the game will not give it to you. But it's just a spray and pray, basically. Like, uh, I'm saying I'm maximizing his gains, but it's just spray and pray. I'm basically investing in items that can actually, like, give him a chance of... Uh, let's say, uh, not suck as a normal character. Because even if you get all the bonuses from his attack speed, that, like, 80% of the attack speed on Endless is, like, nothing. That is half a Retromation hoodie. That is literally half a Retromation hoodie. Like, you can buy it with money. Like, money is more powerful than any character's stats in this game. Uh, except some characters. Some characters' stats just are good. Uh, but for example... If you're rich, you can just make a character powerful. Like, coins win the game. Literally, coins win the game. Ah, 240. Bad. Less luck, more XP, and melee damage. Sure. <clears throat> uh, huh. I'm gonna take the damage percentage. Okay, more consumable healing. Less armor, more crit. Now, I'm at 60 and 65%. Not bad. Uh, that snail can actually help me go through this. Oh my god, a crown. Well, that's not gonna help me, because I have 23 harvesting. Fingers crossed, instead of a hunting trophy, I got a crown, which is bad. Unless Abdu is here. Yeah, unless Abdu is here. Abdu just brings good luck. Uh, you're wrong, but let's be real, there's a lot of RNG in it. Yeah, there is. Uh, what the easiest character to go endlessly? Want to bet on it? He isn't. Because... His his character trait is literally... 100... Uh, wait... Uh, 2... 4... His, his whole character... Is 80% attack speed. 
You know how much coins 88% att attack speed is? 80% attack speed is like... 500 coins. <laughs> His whole character is... 400, 500 coins. <laughs> like his whole bonus is 500 coins in the game. <laughs> this is a sad character, man. He is a sad character. Like an easy character is Demon. As easy character is Demon. <clears throat> he is made for Endless. Like he was made for Endless. <clears throat> Okay, I think we can get to 800 this time. We can probably make it to 800 this time. If I'm careful. Okay, I can't go there yet. Okay, I can go there now. Oh, I can't. Ah, oh, goddammit, it's that goblin. Uh, okay, we meet him at the center. Oh, come on. Come on, make it. Make it, I want that crate. Ah, oh, okay. I lost 50 coins for that crate. Cute monkey for free, sure. That's a little bit healing. Uh, dodge is good, but I need attack speed. And range is good too. We are missing range. Oh, three armor. Fantastic. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm gonna lose all of my stats because I'm buying these. These are both slow burning items by the way, like both of them scale over time and my character needs instant upgrades because this horde wave is coming. This is gonna kinda mess my rotation up. Yeah, that's gonna mess us up. We need a tentacle, we need a tentacle or we're gonna die. Damn. Damn. Okay, maybe that helps. If I improve my luck maybe i can survive by eating fruits uh hunter bro you got me hooked on that phoenix song dude i listen to it even when i'm not streaming <laughs> i literally listen to it when i'm walking on the street it's it's such a good hype song and don't listen to it in the car man you gotta you gotta crush that subaru again please <laughs> But actually, you only crushed, crashed because uh, you you slept, so... <laughs> that doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You can't hype yourself up. Alright. Oh god. Okay, that was a movement mistake. That was a movement speed mo mistake. Not movement speed, movement. So, a Durandian mistake. Okay, that's uh, my... My sixth weapon, which is the hatchet, is literally doing jack shit. But joke's on me, I literally took that weapon because it was not going to do anything. I took it because it was not going to get kills, <laughs> basically. Not bad, not bad. Okay, lemonade, nice. Oh. 20% attack speed. 20% attack speed and more attack speed and range. Okay, more HP. That's bad. That is not gonna be enough attack speed. 24%. I'm gonna die. If I roll and I don't get a tentacle, I'm gonna buy a new weapon. And goddamn. I will be damned if I buy a fucking plank. I'd rather die than take a plank. Okay, good. Not bad, not bad. A chopper. At least gives some consumable healing. Okay, we have 44% accuracy and a little bit a lot of consumable healing. Okay, and by the way... Hello, people who joined. Welcome to the stream. You are watching Gladiator and I'm refusing to take more weapons on him because I'm trying to get more coins from my... Uh, Thief Daggers, uh, so we get a better endless run, and if you haven't liked the video guys, please like the video so YouTube algorithm gives me more patch pad. Thank you. Okay, let's go. This wave 11 is gonna be a pain in the ass, because I literally refuse to take any attack speed, and now I will be in trouble. Uh, I basically need to, uh, like, have some restraint and not eat the fruits unless I'm missing a lot of HP. I have too much consumable healing. Too much consumable healing. 
Uh, let's see. I actually don't have that uh, extra 20% enemies this time. So I don't think he's going to have a problem with the mobs if I don't make movement mistakes. Like those. Okay, the moment I kill those mummies, I'm diving that tree. There you go. Okay, and I get rewarded for it. Okay, that was a movement mistake. Come on, more. Okay, I need to dive. Okay, good. 700, 800, 900. Nice, we get the tentacle, we get an tentacle. 2% crit and 20% chance to heal, 1 HP. This is the only good healing web item for Endless. The only good one. Okay, uh, I have a tentacle, I don't need armor. I can heal myself back up, so I need more crit and attack speed. Oh, luck. Harvesting, I have a, I have a crown, so I'm gonna take the harvesting too. Okay. My guy, my guy, you have to manage with 20% attack speed. You need to manage with 20% attack speed. I'm not... Oh, God. Well, 30% and more crit. Oh, good lord. Good lord, Plasma Sledgehammer. Now, come and not take that. How do you refuse to take a Plasma Hammer, man? How do you refuse to take a plasma hammer? Well, that's gonna be rough. <clears throat> hmm. That's gonna reduce my income because it will get a lot of kills. Uh, we don't need these. The spice sauce is not that bad. Speed. 4% more crit. No. Okay, this can give me enough attack speed. But now I need to take 2 points in armor. And do you give 20? Okay, and I'm gonna replace my hatchet. Oh my god, I'm not gonna have enough for it. God damn. Okay, I'm gonna replace my hatchet with a scissor. Because scissor is a precise weapon and it gives me 3% more crit. And heals me. Kinda. Sometimes. Min max. Minimum maximizing the efficiency of your character to the smallest point. Because you want to have a great potato. Normal potatoes do not satisfy me anymore. We need super potatoes. This is the academy, goddammit. We need to make super potatoes. Normal potatoes do not run here. We do not like normal potatoes. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's go to that tree. Give me a crit, please. No, god damn it. God damn it. Okay, please heal me. I do not have the attack speed to fight all of you. Okay. Uh, well, you know, guys, what's bad now? Uh, I need armor and attack speed. Oh god. Like see, his whole character, his whole character is one legendary skill. There we go. Now I am a I'm a better gladiator than him. Okay, 90% speed. Okay, we are replacing the hatchet with a scissor because scissor is both a precise and medical weapon, but hatchet is a primitive weapon. So now I get 3% more crit chance. Okay, coupon for items, life steal, and damage percentage. Not bad. I have a lot of coins and more damage. I don't care about that armor and a superb dagger. Okay, that is good, but I will take this too. Okay, if I want this, I have to buy two armor on my skills this time. If I want to buy that item, I literally have to buy... Yeah, I... Oh, God. How did you hit me? God damn it. Yeah, if I want to buy that item, I got to buy uh, armor from my skills. 
Damn, but I'm sure I'm gonna see crit and I'm gonna take crit instead of armor because Durandian will risk it because he has no sense of danger apparently <laughs> I have I'm terrified of each every single one of these runs Potato stresses the shit out of me sometimes But I can't show it because then it won't be cool <laughs> No, but uh, that's that's what really keeps me playing this game, man. Like the uh, the whole thrill I of oh fuck I built I spent two hours making a character and now he can get one shotted. <laughs> Holy dodge, <laughs> please! Like, see, I, I said I need armor, but now I want to take harvesting. Now I want the luck. More enemies, please. Okay, I'm gonna trade that. 8, 1 HP for this, then I'm gonna take that, 5 armor is enough, deal with it, deal with it. Okay, that boss is not gonna die. That boss is, that boss is literally not gonna die. Uh... Give me a knife, please. Damn. Damn. Okay, we make a legendary dagger here. We take a flint. Now we have 70% attack speed, so we can kill the boss, actually. Uh, we're gonna sell this and buy that thief dagger next wave. And uh, bro, you got hooked on that phoenix song. And join the Discord like a on, Let's do it. Yeah, guys, do it. It's fun. We have Dawn Copter. Come and see it. <laughs> uh, loop always happened to me. Uh, roll up as plaster explosive. And then explosive weapon show off. Freaking ass. Do. Yeah, man. Like, you cannot control the RNG. The RNG is the god of this game. This game is just RNG's nightmare. Okay. Uh, give me a second. I need to focus on this guy. Okay, heal up. Don't get hit. I said heal up. Oh god, I'm gonna die. I just suck at this now. <clears throat> I just suck at potato now, guys. I just suck at potato now. Damn. Damn. That was on me. That was just on me now. I had good items too, that was just bad play. That was just bad play. That was just bad play. Yeah, there's no problem in the build. It was just me sucking ass as a player. Oh, damn, that was good. Yeah, this was really good. I could have easily killed him. If I didn't, like, go full yo-yo on him. Uh, what I needed to do, I needed to back off to the side. But I went to the top because I got greedy to kill that one single mob. If I went, like, he went here, I went here, that could have been better. That was just on me. Today, I'm making a lot of mistakes today on my movement. Losing my touch with potato? Oh! But again, we had a very good run. We had a very good run. But I suck at this now, apparently. Yeah, that was just on me. I'm now shitting on myself because I'm pissed that I died. Hmm... The crown could have been ignored. Yeah. Yeah, I, I could have ignored the crown. Let's let's do a checkup on what can be better. The crown could have been ignored. I could have been more greedy with the boss skill, so I could have had four different weapons because I literally had these. I could have just upgraded them and took uh, another weapon for that 20% extra attack speed. That could have helped with the mobs while doing the boss fight. 
And my range is good. This was just not in the question. An equation. Yeah. The only mistake in this whole build is this. Yeah. The only mistake in all of this is just this. And greed on the weapons. Too greedy on the weapons. So you can manage it until wave 12. With just one point. Then when you get to the boss. You have to change to 3. So you can actually kill the boss easier. And by 3 I mean like getting 60% attack speed from having 4 different kinds of weapons. So when I get to 14. I have to get 4 different kinds of weapons. And don't take a crown if you have 20 harvesting because that sucks ass. Yeah. Just movement speed problem and a greedy crown and a greedy weapon. Yeah. And by the way guys. These are endless builds. I, I try to always make like super and good. Like efficient endless builds. Do not do this if you're if you're trying to win the first danger 5 on this character. All you do is just have level 1 to 2. 6 different weapons. And this guy just destroys it. Then just buy damage and HP and 8 armor. That's it. That's all you need. Uh, get uh, 15 HP regeneration and 10% lifesteal and he is invincible. You don't even need armor on him. That's how good he gets. Okay. Gaizu, sadly, sadly... I'm tired and I need to go to sleep because I have to wake up in six and a half hours. So, uh, we had a very good run. We had a very, very, very good run today. But again, that was not enough. I wanted that. I want to do at least two good runs. Like, uh, this guy did good. This guy did good. We managed to get Generalist away 42 today, which was fantastic for him. And I almost got three legendary weapons on him, man. If I only survived for just one more wave, we could have had two goddamn Gatling lasers on him with one Excalibur. But again, we made a good run today again. But I wanted to do the Gladiator too. Uh, tomorrow, 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 guys. Number one, if you haven't liked the video, please like the video so the YouTube algorithm helps me out. And tomorrow is a Star Valley day. Uh, the, the next day it's gonna be again Brotato and on the Brotato day we will uh, I'll start with Gladiator yeah next time I will start with Gladiator let's make a goddamn good Gladiator on the next episode but again thanks for joining thanks for watching and thanks for all the support let's give two minutes if you have any questions about Brotato about anything shoot we are free to talk for two three minutes and I'm gonna die of allergies. God damn. Well, summer is coming, so Durandian is screwed. <laughs> oh man, I hate the summer because just the allergies. I have two kind of allergies, by the way. One is pollen, and the second one is if I move from a hot room to a cold room, I will sneeze. If I move to from a cold room to a hot room, I sneeze. If I go outside, I sneeze. If I come back inside, I sneeze. So that is the story of my summer life. <laughs> uh. Okay, you guys still have one more minute for questions. While I'll check this baby out. And if you find it too much on your plate, I'll keep finding Oh, Kidok. All right, seems like you guys do not have questions and don't have anything to say. And guys, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, thanks for all the subscriptions. We have made it too. Look, have you guys seen this? 
Huh? Have you guys seen this thing? We have made it to 1046 subs. Heal ye. Heal ye. And thanks for all of them, man. Thanks for all of it, guys. And uh, to set it right, let me tell you one thing. Let me tell you one thing. Of how many subs we are getting. Please do not play that song. Okay, it's not. Uh, one second, one second, one second. We made it to... We made it to... One second, one second, one second. Yeah, we made it to a thousand subs eight days ago. And now we are at 1046 subs. That is more than five subscribers and five more potato enjoyers every single day that join our clan of chads and chadinos. And thanks again and again, man. This it has been a journey. It has been a goddamn good journey. And okay, so if it's night time, I hope you have one of the greatest nights, one of the sweetest dreams, honey like, kitty licking like, purr purr, kr kr, making kitties like dreams. And if it's daytime. I hope you have one of the greatest and most luckiest days and more fantastic days of your life ahead of you. That's it for tonight, guys, and see you tomorrow on the Stardew Valley stream. Love you. Good night. Bye.